And the dogs start barking outside just as I done. <laughs> Great. Everyone wants to know how the dogs are doing. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. They are, uh, they are very attractive dogs. They're not good dogs, but they're, you know, they're dogs. Hi, we're, uh, we're, we're having a reunion. <laughs> yeah. Steven's over for the first time in well over a year to, uh, well, we recorded our review of Into the Maelstrom, which will be on the YouTube channel Monday? <laughs> Am I committing to that? No, sometime next week. Yes. Ideally Monday. I, I would usually turn around uh, the pack reviews as fast as possible, but this pack has been like known for a long time to where like even if yeah, I get yeah. it like as soon as possible after release date, it's like, well, <laughs> how many people have really waited for our video to see the cards for the first time? Some people do that with some of our other uh, with, with some of our other pack reviews. They uh, see the cards for the first time through our videos, they've told me. But nice. um, I don't expect many people are doing that on this particular <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, hi, Phylon. Hi. Yes, Brandon and Steven in the same room again. Nature is healing. That's right. This is... Apathetic. It will be out in five minutes. What, the video? No. That's... <laughs> no. I, I think, think he's saying that he hacked your hacked your recording. Oh, that, that, or okay. she. That sounds know. right. Apathetic is he. Um, yeah, no, we just recorded it. I haven't even uploaded it from my phone, so I guess you've hacked my phone. I should check. I didn't even... I usually, like, check to make sure it recorded. Yep, there seems to be a 49-minute video on my phone, so that worked out. Nice. Yeah, I know. It, feel, it still feels weird to me recording stuff for YouTube or, like, you know, for videos that are edited and stuff on my phone, but it's the best camera I own. <laughs> this thing costs... This costs more than all of the other cameras in this room combined, and there are five of those. Um, yeah, so we are playing... Innsmith, which both of us have played before, but not together, or have played, we have not completed it yet, right? Yeah. You haven't played Maelstrom, I haven't either. Um, I'm playing Amanda for the first time, and Steven's playing Calvin for the first successful time. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> um, okay, I haven't shoveled this deck yet, so I should probably do that. I, oh. le I left it on you to set up. Let me uh, peek at how we're doing on the... I need to find more title tunnels somewhere, because I, I guess they're in spread across two encounter sets. Oh, okay. So this is... Okay, these are the scenario-specific ones. There's, like, some other ones somewhere. Hmm. Gotta find this. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's some more title tunnels. Oh, good. All right, we need to sleeve them up. Um, Do you have more of the fully clear sleeves? Yeah, I can okay. find them somewhere. How do you um? How do you like the title tunnels? They're fine. The, the set of locations that like four of the incident scenarios or something use. Oh wait, this is. Oh, I I think I just grabbed into the maelstrom. <laughs> oh. Let's not put in those titles. No, let's, let's not do that. Into the Maelstrom. Uh, geez, spoiler, I guess there's title tunnels and Into the Maelstrom. Uh, it's looking like the mic is a little hot. Let me mess with this. A little weird. I'm reaching at the camera to do this. All right, turning down the sensitivity on that mic a little. I don't know if there was some uh, some roughness on the high end of, those, uh, of that audio for a little while, but maybe, I don't know. Chat, please let me know if... if you can hear us and we sound fine. I'm using the same microphone. Okay, cool. I'm using the same mic that I use at my desk. It's just in here now. Uh, so hopefully it's still working well. <laughs> Although I'm not immune to audio issues at that desk, so <laughs> who can say? Um, okay, while we finish setup and right, stuff. I think I, I think I found them. Yeah, these, these look like the classics. Nice, okay. Um, I was going to, let's see, okay, I'm using the Arkham Cards app, I'm looking at the f rules for Flood Tokens and Keys, uh, we're gonna proceed to the scenario, do you want to lead or should I? Uh, you can lead. Okay, I'm the lead, and then, um, 
I haven't heard the Mythos Busters reading of most of these, so I think I'm just yeah. going to let that... It's going to be playing on my phone, which I'll just put near the microphone. We'll see how it picks up on stream, but at least you and I will be able to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Scenario 1. The Pit of Despair. Your eyes flutter open with the languor of one who has slept for days on end. Your senses are in no hurry to return. You blink and struggle to see through the inky black surrounding you. Every inch of you aches with dull, throbbing pain. Your skin is cold and numb. Ian has a very soothing voice. <laughs> yeah, he's good at the like slumber part. I don't know if he's good at the despair part. Yeah. Memories. Next time I can't sleep, I can turn this on. Where you are, or how you got here. You snap to attention, heart racing in your chest. You lie on a jagged stone floor in a shallow pool of dark, ice-cold water. Knowing panic will only make the situation worse, you take a series of deep, meditative breaths. You try to remember something, anything, that might allow you to retrace your steps, but your mind is blank. You remember who you are, but nothing whatsoever from the recent past. You study yourself and examine your surroundings. The chamber appears to be a natural cave formation. Kelp dangles from the ceiling. Want some resources? The stone walls and yes. floor are I mean, wet and slimy. A rhythmic drip, drip, Big drip <laughs> echoes throughout the otherwise silent cave. This cavern has been underwater and not too long ago. A result of the tides, perhaps? You swallow your fear like a lump of cold iron. If it is low tide now, a cold shudder ripples up your spine. You examine the ceiling and are surprised to see a slab of metal set into the rough stone overhead. Its polished surface is alien to the rest of the natural cavern. You call out for help, hoping somebody can hear. Your dread hmm. deepens at the reply, Good hand. an awful croaking and gurgling that permeates the tunnels. A sound no human could make oh that i feel like it needed a little bit of like a fade to zero yeah, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. maybe it was supposed to be like you know ominous yeah, sure ready. yeah uh not a real cop followed the channel during that <laughs> thank you and welcome i'm realizing that my overlay that says someone followed doesn't work on the irl streaming <laughs> setup at the moment but uh we'll have to put that there at some point <laughs> Okay, so setup said gather and counter sets, place keys as follows, the blue and green, oh I see you have some keys here, so have you done that? Have you followed this uh, setup? Those are just the ones I found, I don't know if they're the right ones. Oh, are those your, from your tokens or they're, mine? They're mine, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to need blue, green, red, yellow, and purple. Okay. Uh, so most of the ones you didn't pick. <laughs> uh, we don't need black or white for this scenario. Let's... All right. They're in, they're in my big... Oh, I see purple. Okay. Um, Are those your tied tokens, too? Yep. Okay, we'll keep this straight. All right, so my stuff is the Team Covenant tokens and the Curse and Bless. Yeah. <laughs> and everything else is yours. Yeah. I, I got new Arbreath tokens that I have never used before that I'm excited about using. Um, yeah, this is this is the first time we've busted out your. Wait, have you taken the film and stuff off these even? Oh, I don't know if they even have. Not everything that they do has film. Oh, Ooh, these are. I feel like these have a little more chunk to them than the Mythos Busters ones, which are the only Arbit tokens I own. Or am I imagining it? These feel kind of. They're like a little thick and hefty. I like yeah, them. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, we've got um, Arbit's secret token. I guess this is one secret and two secrets. Is that the intent yeah, here? Yeah. Okay. I don't think that played very well on camera, but <laughs> here, wait, wait, we can go to. There we go. That's a secret right there, and two secrets, which I'm running all of three cards in my mana deck that use secrets. So, we'll... yep, we we'll use a couple of these, and then I, I got Albert's. Bullets tokens, I don't know. Oh, I remember, I've seen people with those that you gotta hold it closer to the camera for it to play. There? 
Uh, right. That's the camera, so we'll get right up. Ah, uh, yeah. There, yeah. there, yes. Yeah, bullets. There it is. Okay, yeah. I, I've seen people with those at Arkham Knights um, in past years. They're, they're nice. The secrets, I think, I had not seen before tonight. Uh, and then we've got uh, Mythos Busters, Clue, and Doom. Although I also got out Team Covenant, Clue, and Doom. I don't know which we're using. We'll use, we'll oh, we use, use these ones. as Doom and those as Clues, I think. Oh, because we just don't have enough of the, I don't think we have of enough the Mythos Busters. Okay. okay, gotcha. So I didn't need to get out Doom. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a waste of 10 seconds. Yep. Okay, I've been shuffling this for a while. Let's... Oh wait, which clue, which keys are face up and which are face down? Oh, um, blue and green keys are aside face up. Red, yellow, and purple are shuffled face down. All of them are currently set aside. Okay, I need to find blue somewhere. I definitely have my keys over on that table if you want to switch to using mine. I must mine. have blue somewhere. I just have a lot of stuff in this. <laughs> okay, uh, put the unfamiliar chamber into yep, play. You there. did that. Uh, you put a bunch of locations out of play, uh, I assume? Yep, yep. Oh, okay, yeah, they're on the reverse tunnels. side of a title tunnel location. Okay, so you put the three that are not supposed to be shuffled in the title tunnels separate. Did you uh, do that step? No. Oh, here, to else. let me see this. Title tunnels. Uh, yep. So, the idle chamber, altar of Dagon, altar to Dagon, and sealed exit should be set aside. The rest of the title tunnels should be shuffled. Randomly, three of them is enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, a total of 11. I guess that's enough. Yeah, it usually goes like kind of five, three, mm -hmm. three or something. Yeah, okay. Um, put these into play oh. to there we go. the... Nice. All right, so here's our unfamiliar chamber. Tidal tunnels. Each orthogonal direction. Gonna... Slide this stuff up a little bit, see if we can make everything fit onto this camera view. Yeah, the glare is a little much. Do you do me a favor and turn off the overhead light at those light switches? Mm -hmm. It should be, you could turn off like the leftmost two switches. Oh, that does help with the glare. It makes us much more in the dark <laughs> as we sit here. Uh, Oh yeah, this is okay. No, it's a horror game, you know. This is we should we should be sitting in almost pure blackness. I got LED mm -hmm. lights to like make uh, quarantine more festive. Nice. The um oh like the, you can you like control them from your phone? Yeah, that kind exactly. of the smart lights or whatever. Yeah. Ryan just bought some of those this week. We just <laughs> oh, have, have our have our first ones in like house. A year too late. They're yeah. not in this room. Yeah. Um. I mean, we got a we got a projector uh, as a TV set up in one room, and we got a hot tub. So like, we did some quarantine upgrades. <laughs> uh, not the LED bulbs until very recently. Um, gloomy voice man <laughs> says, "Yep, that seems right." Apathetic can't wait for us to try and fit into deep on camera, which is in too deep. That's, That's the, the city one. That's the like third it's, one. It's like five by yeah. three or something. Yeah, yeah, that will be uh, that will be a little much. Yeah. Um, no, I'm I'm thinking of the vanishing of. Elena Harper. They're, they're all big. I can't. I think all the ends with like scenarios are huge. I, I've played the first two scenarios of, as it goes for almost every campaign actually. I've played the first two scenarios several times and then beyond that I think I've only played everything once and into the Maelstrom not yet. Yeah. Um, anyway, all right. I. So these are the main title tunnels. These are the set aside title tunnels. This is my deck from which I will draw five oh, cards. I don't have the little dude cards. Do you, have, do you know the, where your little dudes are? The, oh, yes. They're in that black... Uh, uh, you have to move the camera stuff. It's on top of it. That black uh, box. This one? Yep. If you open that up, it's towards the back of the left like row of cards, card box space. There's the Ziploc bags with the mini cards. Uh, it's like open on one. It's it should just have one yeah. latch. It's like a music uh, yeah, yeah. instrument box or something. Um, I think that the Innsmouth Gators are in a separate bag with only a handful of investigators mm -hmm. and the rest are all together, so I'm probably in the Innsmouth bag and you're probably in the other bag. Uh, I drew a Mob Enforcer in my opening hand. Oh, but I also drew six cards, so that was easy to just discard. Oh. <laughs> nice. Um, then let's, we don't want any research cards in there. The... There you are. Thank you. I'm at the unfamiliar. Trailer. Oh, Innsmouth and Barkham are together. 
Oh, funny. And I, 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 I must have done that. I don't think they were sold that way. <laughs> <laughs> and Star Trek? Oh, weird. I don't. I have no memory of doing that. Everything that has come out during quarantine, yeah. I guess, is yeah. in that bag. They were all quarantined from the rest. Um, oh, we should play Barkham on stream sometime. Yeah. We actually recorded a Barkham playthrough that I have not edited, edit, edited and uploaded yet. Uh, largely because it is less appealing to edit when I work at home all the time, and then editing feels more like work. But I'll <laughs> catch up on that at some point. Okay, I think this is my mulligan. Ah, crap. You don't love to see research cards in your opening hand. Mm. <sighs> I feel like they should have like a tarot style ability where it's like if this is in your opening hand, just resolve, <laughs> just resolve it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah just do it. <laughs> All right, so the unfamiliar chamber. What do we got? Three branching tunnels open before you, each swathed in darkness. A foul odor like that of decaying fish permeates the tunnels. Three shroud, three clues, use these. Uh, after it's revealed, uh, randomly choose uh, one of the set aside keys and place it on unfamiliar chat. Okay, so grab. And then keys in this scenario, it's the basic key rules where you can take them as a fast effect yep. if the clues are gone? Okay. Yep. And then um, the agenda here, since I'm still shuffling. Awakening. Uh, a salmon lays dead on the ground nearby, its scaly flesh just starting to rot. You can tell from the kelp and the dripping wet walls that this cavern was underwater not too long ago. How much time do you have before hot, high tide? A uh, forest, uh, when your turn begins, if you're at a fur, fully flooded location, you struggle for air. When you're Basically, if you didn't go into any unflooded lo or partially flooded, take five direct damage. Mm. Uh, the pit, uh, you have awakened in a waterlogged cavern your mind robbed of its memories and you are not alone whatever else is in this cavern it can't possibly be friendly you have to get <laughs> out of this place and back to civilization uh three per investigator clues so that's six okay apathetic pointed out for some reason we had put three clues on there it should oh yeah that I was one too I, many you... i play a lot of three players so <laughs> i do that too i get stuck on one player count for a while and then my brain won't adjust um okay so we're just looking for six clues. Yep. Uh, I should probably go first. Please. All right. Uh, I'll play Stand Together. We both take two. Uh, that's a good reason to go first. It just, yeah, obviously level zero, Stand Together, so. Um... Uh, and then I'll play Pete Sylvester and uh, 38, uh, 18 Derringer. So I get to use my uh, new bullet tokens. Figure out how to make our stuff look best here. Play in front of your mm, thing. Yeah, yeah. And cool. then, yeah. Then that, most of that will play. This space can be for decks and discards stuff. It's the stuff that's behind our nice. behind our video anyway. Yeah, that'll do. Um, or you have it off to that side. That's also fine. Um, okay. Best level zero card love stand together. <laughs> Kukri would like a word with you. Um, <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, of course. Uh, is that a meme I'm behind on Mythos Busters, which is where most memes come from? <laughs> I fell behind on podcasts in quarantine without a commute and without, yeah. without uh, well, I guess I still work out. I just don't go to the gym. Is you that gotta take podcasts? your dog on longer walks. I did do that in quarantine, but yeah, it's not enough. I don't know. Uh, the, do you we, ever have the thing where your partner like is like, oh, I could go on the dog walk with you, and you're like, no, I need time to catch up my podcasts. <laughs> Actually, I've never done that, but I've been on the receiving end. <laughs> <laughs> Also in the hot tub, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan will get in the hot tub and I'll be like, oh, I'll come out too. I'll be like, okay, but I want to listen to a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, okay. So, uh, I have already slacked at doing the Amanda thing, huh? Because that's at the start of the investigation oh, yeah, phase yeah. that I draw a card. Yeah. Um, these are all pretty bad, so... I think I'm just going to throw this astounding revelation I got stuck within my opening hand oh, uh, under her for now. Sure, why yeah. not? I don't even necessarily plan to investigate because I want to set up stuff like this research librarian. Mm. Um, That's a way to get some... Yeah, it'll issues. trigger another astounding revelation, right? Uh, so I'm going to search my deck for a tome asset and add it to my hand. 
That's going to be a... Where is my one copy of... Wait, is it already in my hand? Oh, crap. Oh, well, I guess I'll take it. Okay, this is the last tome in my whole deck. Because <laughs> I already have two others in my hand. All right. So I'll take a Cryptic Grimoire, which I already have a copy of in my hand, and add it to my hand. And at the same time, I made... What about Scroll of Secrets? Is that also already in your hand? also already oh my in my God. hand, yep. But on the bright side, I have made... Jeez, where are they? Okay, I made an Astounding Revelation. Yes. Uh, which says, when you search your deck, an Astounding Revelation is among the searched cards. Discard it to either gain two resources or place one secret on an asset you control. Uh, it's going to be the two resources here, since I don't have any... Assets that can use secrets. It is a curse build, yes. I'm, I'm, it, yeah. So it, it's a curse build, and ultimately the astounding revelations might go. But I also decided I was curious to try these in someone other than Mandy because I never had played it with <laughs> yeah, anyone yeah. other than Mandy. So I was like, I'll, I'll see how that works as an econ uh, option. And um, jury is still out on how it's working. I'd say it wasn't out to a great start when it started in my opening hand. Okay, that was my first action. Second action, I will play the Scroll of Secrets. Getting uh, three fancy secret tokens on it. I'm just going to go ahead and... How badly do you need cards? Because I'm I like kind of two. okay. Yeah, yeah here, why, why don't we... Well, I get to look at the bottom of your deck. Oh! Yeah. Choose wisely. Oh... Well, it doesn't do you much good, but you can still have it in your hand, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's your other Peter Sylvester. Um, okay, and... Well, you know... Oh, you do have to spend one of those fans. Thank you, I do. I guess I have to remove one from it. Touche. Uh, and then... Last... Action... So I, think, I think I'll... Play a magnifying glass in my other hand. As relics, I, ha I can't really play any of the super fun blessed Calvin cards at level zero, but I'm hoping that with like uh, Signum Crucis and Spirit of Humanity and uh, Sexy Silas, so rip your shirt off. Yeah, we can never, counter card. I love, I love how we can never remember the name of that card. And just, it's just Sexy Silas. Um, hell if I know that. Is that Humanity Restored? Is that the one? No. Why would Sexy Silas be the art for Cardinal Humanity <laughs> Restored? <laughs> yeah, it's called Shirt. Yes. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so so I'm going Curses, you're going Blesses, neither yes. of us is really planning to play the cards where the other type of tokens will clog up our strategy too much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're just missing the Mystic to play Paradoxical Covenants, yes. sadly, yes. but oh well. Um, okay, playing that Magnifying Glass, since... In a two-player game, deduction going under Amanda is actually like not going to be that big a deal most of the time. I think I'm just going to play it and do an investigate now, putting my skill at five to three. Better not fuck up. I'm like oh let's gonna. let's let's read these. Oh, we haven't looked at the hard. All right. Token so card. Yeah. skull minus two and okay. worse if you're flooded. Uh huh. Uh, cultist minus two damage if you're flooded. Mm -hmm. Tablet minus two if you control a key, take a horror. And the other thing, minus three if the amalgam is in the depths, put it into play and gauge with you. And what's in the bag? Uh, there are, are they all in the bag? I, I believe there are two. There's two, of every, there's two of every face. I got it here. Yes. Two skulls, two cultists, two tablets, two elder things. Okay. Um, so I pass on all the special tokens right now? No, not the elder things. Not the elder things. There are two minus three. So. Yeah, so there are six, seven with the autofail tokens I fail out of 21. It's a two-thirds chance. Yes. I like those odds. The, the famous Han Solo quote. Tell me the odds. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that bag. All right. Before you can... Oh, wait. I'm the one who will be cursing it all. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, thing. oh, that's the one you don't want to draw. <laughs> what happens again? It's minus three and what? Uh, the amalgam is not in the depths. So. Oh, good. Okay. Welp. It's fine, I'll get the clues the hard way later. Yeah. Ugh, uh, one short. Well, plus two is usually a pretty good spot to be. It's plus three now, huh? Hard it's shown <laughs> plus three. Damn. But. Oh, it's our boy, Scott. Yeah, Elder Thing is first pull. Yep, we're off to a good start. I think oh. that's upkeep, right? 
Um, yeah. Yeah, there's no enemies yet. It seems seems chill in here. What's up, Keith? Alright, I need a resource. Somehow they all got stolen over there. Oh, I don't need that card. Right. And uh, throw a Doom on our agenda. Yeah, Mythos Buster Doom. Yeah, Scott, we're using, uh, now that we have an actual Mythos Buster here, we're using, oh, it's upside <laughs> down. Mythos Buster's Arbit's Doom. Uh, we don't have enough of them to also use them for clues, so they're just the Doom. That seems appropriate for Mythos Busters anyway. Uh, I drew a Deep One Assault. Disengage from each Deep One enemy at your location. Um, does this just gain Surge? No, it searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a deep one if there weren't any in play. Spawn it engaged with me and shuffle oh, the man. I want him engaged. I want those, like, yeah. sweet, sweet damage and horror. I want you to have the sweet, sweet damage and horror instead of me, so we're agreed on that. Um, well, this, this uh, is not a great start for me. It's probably just going to be a, I mean, you have a gun. I don't have any stats yet. <laughs> Can you shoot a two? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> oh. Oh no, this is um this is not great. I think that's still the one to play because it's like the easiest to evade is the deep one bull, but then it's got a four combat that, five yeah, health. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not a good one. So I think I gotta take the lurking deep one. Mm. Yep, so uh, that's on me. Hopefully I'll get an encounter card that gives me a bunch of damage. And after it engages me, I take a damage, so yeah. I've got the damage train going. You just gotta catch up. Yeah, I'm jealous. Ball. No, don't, we should not take the ball. <laughs> Chad is chanting for the ball. No. <laughs> the ball will find us. We don't need to go looking yeah. for the ball. <laughs> My first time playing this scenario, I got the ball, like, first turn. Cool. It's not great. Alright, here. Take a card that gives you some damage. Uh, wait, no, this should not be in here. I don't, what? Wait, from the depths? I don't think it should be in here, right? Isn't that, uh... Yeah, yeah. Oops. Oh, just didn't set them all aside? Okay. Uh, Swarm of Rats. Okay, that's a card I could maybe kill. Um, but it's too bad it wasn't in the other order. Yeah, no, take take some opportunity attacks and kill the deep one, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so wait, I get an attack of opportunity from this one if I engage that one, right? Yes. So that's two damage. That's a start. Oh, because this because the lurking deep one itself engaged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I don't care what happens because then it's not on me. So, <laughs> all right. I like that. Look. Let's do this. All yeah, right. Why don't, why don't you go first? So I'll take this guy. Take two damage. Uh, uh, yeah. Here's a two. All right. Um, Bottom row. It doesn't fit there. Oh. Team yeah, covenant thought okay. of that. Uh, so that's one action. Um. <laughs> Spockter says you either get turn one or two bowl or no bowl at all. There is no in between. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Now I'm at four to shoot. And, and yeah, as Rail X, uh, engaging does trigger an opportunity attack if you already have an enemy on you. Yep. Yeah. So I will. Hmm. You want a card? Because I can give you a card. Oh, you got to do your Amanda first, actually. God damn it, Jim. I keep cheating. Okay. Uh, I... What? what those... Draw first. Draw first. Thank you. I've never played Amanda before. Can you tell? Um, with those gone, those being the, the mm. things that are now chewing on you, um, I'm free to play as Perception and do some Percepting. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So then we go back to this. My first click was engaging. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Do you have any fists for me? I could throw one in, yeah. Cool. Why don't you throw one in? I want to be plus three. I'll try to shoot the lurking. Okay. Uh, so I may be spending this bullet, depending here's, on whether I succeed. Here's a, a cryptic grimoire for its wild ah, icon. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Come on. I think this one. Elvisine! I can, you can, you can take, take some, damage. You can take some damage. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I will take a... Give me a damage. What's the actual modifier on your older side? Uh, it's plus zero. Oh, okay. Cool. So this guy's dead. I spend nice. a bullet. 
Uh, now I can punch the swarm, uh, and I'm three yeah, to one. Three to one. I like it. Um, I will commit. You can't have my other grimoire. It's fine. I'll commit a leather coat. To okay. Plus three. Should have taken trench tank. Should play. I don't even know what that card does. That's the uh, card that came out with Mark that um, attacks back when you take an attack. I'm uh, plus three. I'm plus three. It's all good. Elder, you were plus three? Because I committed a leather coat and I took oh, damage. Oh, the, the icon did it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You're good. Calvin, the murderer. Yeah. I mean, you're off to a good start. Two Body count of two already. Yep. <laughs> and you're already up to uh, zero, zero, three, three stats. Since... Yes. No, I have I have one agility, too. I have, okay. No, sorry. I have four agility. Four agility. Four agility. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Zero, zero, three, four. You're like, you're like half an investigator. Yep. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, well, I'm actually pretty low on cards. I'll go ahead and scroll secrets myself. After everything I did for you. What, do you want it again? <laughs> Get, you want another copy of you Peter? Take it. I mean, clearly, I'm already unstoppable. I don't need any more cards. It's a practice makes perfect. That seems pretty good. Okay. Um, you took yep. it from the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. The only problem is that I cannot... Use it to get a perception <laughs> test because it's going Fine. in anyway. You can save it for next time. Yeah, uh, I will save it for next time. Um, I'm gonna. I'm only at plus two, but if we've established that there's no negative consequences, oh I'll God. just take a couple swings at this. I think. So far, all we've drawn is elder things, pretty much. Elder things and elder signs, yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> just, true. only the elders. <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, first action, investigating at. Five to three with my perception. <laughs> yeah. It is another thing. I told you. What the fuck? How is this? I told you. Why is this happening to us? Uh, all right. But this time. Yeah. It'll be better. Did I really play a curse deck? I'm... <laughs> I'm taking all the tests at plus two. Zero. All right. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, I get one of these clues. And perception was in that test, so I will draw a card. Oh, it's a It's a card. And I'll do it one more time. Do minus three. One for three. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Uh, Love and Amanda so far. You know, you don't have those like awesome Calvin stats. You know? No. <laughs> we <laughs> we're a two-player team with combined base still skills of eight. <laughs> We should have thought this through. It's good. It's good. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, upkeep. Yeah? Hey, give me a dollar. Here's a dollar. You're keeping all the money to yourself. Yeah. Why? I should just... Here, this is what we can use for the part, the spot that the camera blocks. All right. Um, I can put health and sanity there, too. Why not? I need to get one of those... Um, what do you call the devices that give you buttons that do things like switching scenes on a stream? I, I can't remember. No idea. There's a word. There's a word for them, and they're not that expensive. You get one with like six buttons instead of twenty buttons. But I don't have one, so I'm using a mouse, like a like a luddite. All right. All right. Uh, have I drawn my upkeep card yet? No. Okay. Added to doom. Uh, or you added a second doom. Okay. Memory of oblivion. Test willpower four or intellect four if you reveal. Oh no! If you reveal an elder thing token, you automatically fail. Don't love this. For each point you fail by, choose and discard a card from your hand. Okay. This could be as good. So I'm definitely testing intellect because my skill at that is four right now with perception under me. This might be as good a time as any to practice makes perfect. Um, you can't commit a second perception, though, right? Yeah, I would not get a perception, but I've got Eureka. I've got what else do I have with? You probably get deduction, which is like deductions. I've actually already seen all those copies, so I would uh, not find one searching my deck. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not worth it. Okay. So I'm testing four to four. Uh, tablet does what? It's a minus two, I know. Minus two, if you control a key, take a horror. I don't control a key. Yet. <laughs> uh, but I do have to discard... Woof. Um... See? Now I don't want to lose any of these. I guess it's these... 
to skills. Ooh, that There's hurts. Other but, deduction? but my the rest of my hand is Eureka, Practice Makes Perfect, and my only other copy of Cryptic Grimoire. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I got, got? Macabre Memento. Uh, it's guaranteed to give me two horror, which is great. I would love That's two horror. Three. Yeah. I'd love two horror. Uh, minus one, so my will is negative one, and I'll take two horror. Okay. Give me, give me that sweet, sweet horror. Enjoy your horror. Alright, so my stats are already better than yours. <laughs> uh, but you can tr you can trigger Amanda. I'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll put a Eureka. Someone's at work. Eureka. What, like it's it's like two in the morning or something. Oh, Scott's. Yeah. Good night, Scott. Uh, Scott's a paramedic. He works very. What? Can people all over take a break from dying? I don't. You would think that people would have most of their you know critical health needs during the day, but yeah. it does not work that way. I guess. Uh, I'm not thrilled with how this is how this has started off. Um, I'm putting a Eureka under Amanda, but yeah, you yeah. just have to succeed at a skill test. <laughs> we'll see. It feels like a long shot. Um, let me use Scroll of Secrets and find something that I might actually succeed at a skill test with. Uh, that might do it. But do I combo this? No, I don't combo this with Eureka. Okay. Um, you could have done that during my skill test, by the way. So that you could have put it under Amanda. True. I don't know if it would have been the time to... Honestly, I think I'm screwed. I don't think this deck works. Because <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm imagining how hard a time I'm having passing tests now, and it, once, I, once my deck starts going, which means I've put a bunch of curses in the bag, <laughs> this is going to go great. Well, next but, where you can add the Secret Covenant, please. Really, my plan, my deck has a lot of card draw in it. And my plan, with especially with Amanda's two cards per turn, I mean, still net one, but all her card draw, is to have plenty of options put under her, plus plenty of cards to commit. And I have been, like, barely keeping my hand at size of three so far. That's just not worked well. We'll, f we'll figure it out. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, do you want to go first, or should I? Um, I guess I could explore, maybe. Give you an idea, just in case you actually do succeed at a skill test, where to go. Yeah, that sounds good. Because if I can, if my turn is clue, move, clue again, and then I get to trigger your eco mm -hmm. twice, that would be great. Cool. I'll move to the right, because it's closer to me. Uh, ooh, ooh, I don't want to investigate six, there. Six shroud. Um, the bone-ridden pit. There wasn't anything, like, certain... Ones are supposed to be in the initial title funnel, or was there anything like that? Uh, they had me set three outside that couldn't okay. be. Yeah. But this one's fine. So, yes. uh, for each uh, key controlled by an investigator, bone or pit gets uh, one minus one shroud. Uh, and then, if there are no clues on bone or pit, and you control the yellow key, which is one of the three face down, I think. Yeah. Uh, you then you can get flashback two. Mm -hmm. And we need two clues. Okay. Okay. So that was not a great first location to find because we're not going to have a lot of keys yet. Second, I'll draw. Ooh, that's a good one. And third, I'll play. Oh, and we need to place title tunnels next to you, right? Uh, is that a thing? Isn't that how these work? I don't know. No, no, I don't think. I think it specifies that in. I think there's rules that specify that. I don't think that's just. I don't think it's true off the bat. You're yeah. right. They're all saying that yet. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll oh. say that later. Oh, I see the chat is saying that in unison. Okay. They must be right. Um, all right. I'm done. Okay. Well, you didn't help me find a good place to investigate, but... I helped you find a place not to move here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's not unhelpful. Okay. So I will investigate the unfamiliar chamber, and I'll play Practice Makes Perfect here. So I am searching the top nine cards in my deck for practice skill and committing it to this test if able. Wait, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have found an astounding revelation. I'll resolve that in a second. Uh, perception seems like the choice here. It is the only option, but it's a great fit. So I'll take perception. Commit it to this test, putting my skill at three, four, five, six. 
So you have a lot of money. Are you going to take a secret? I might, yeah, on Scroll of Secrets. Because this is a pretty cheap deck. I actually don't need a lot of money. Um, yeah, I think, I think that is the thing to do with my Astounding Revelation. <clears throat> nice. And then... Now let's actually draw. Six to three. I'm up at plus three, finally. Yes. Can't possibly screw this up. Uh, it's a Cultist, which was minus two, and... Uh, if your location is flooded, you take a damage. All right. right. We passed. Hey. I got the clue. I will trigger Perception first, and then Eureka. Ooh, that's two weaknesses and a non-weakness. I think I'll take the non-weakness. I mean, <laughs> what else you got to do? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love when Eureka has <laughs> its two weaknesses. Okay. Perception goes to my hand. Now my hand size is more what I had in mind. Now it's up to six. Um, I will take this key. Nice. It's the purple key. Okay. And then I'm going to move down a different title tunnel, and let's check out the left, since it's closest to me. It's the title pool, three shroud. It gets plus one shroud while it's partially flooded, and plus two shroud while it's fully flooded. See, this is a great early one to find, yep. uh, unlike the one you explored. Forced, after it's revealed, randomly choose one of the set-aside keys and put it there. Hmm. Sweet. Okay, that was a great find. Now I'm going to investigate this one. Probably putting in a card, like maybe the perception I just got. No, I want to keep the double icon for uh, for tucking under her. I'll just put in my other Eureka. So two Eurekas will trigger here if I succeed. Whoa. And I'm at two, three, four, five versus three. Oh, God. It'll be fine. It'll be fine this time. <laughs> Holding the token over your investigator cards would probably be best. Oh, so that we can see the token draws. The thing is... Minus uh, four. Okay. Minus four. Well, well plus three I, wouldn't have helped. At least I didn't <laughs> waste more icons. Yeah. Jeez. Although perception wouldn't have um, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that the camera focuses enough for you to realistically see this anyway. Um, we can play with it. Uh, okay. I mean, there, there are. You can, I can envision streaming setups where we have a dedicated camera for holding the token under. Um, I don't know if that's ever going to be important enough <laughs> to do that, but <laughs> so I failed that test. Uh, concluding my turn on the same note, most of my turns have ended on. Nice. You're up. No, I went first. Okay, then <laughs> it's upkeep. Oh. Now we're getting some card draw going here. All right. Three D amount of seven. Yours. <sighs> I have drawn Fractured Consciousness. Test Intellect 3. If you reveal a tablet, it's an auto-fail. Two damage on the line here. Mm. See, now I'm starting to set up a card draw engine where I'm like going to draw through my deck and shuffle it. I'm just going to put the Perception into this. I don't want two damage. So... I am at uh, 2, 3, 4, 5 versus 3. Is that actually still all I'm at? Not, I'm not damage. putting in my Cryptic Grimoire. Even though I expect to draw through my deck, I don't want to. I want to identify it. Uh, it's the auto fail anyway. It is, uh, speaking of, oh wait, now, now it's only in the picture in picture. It's the fancy Arbitz Dream Eaters auto fail. I mean, that's, that's stopping the blood, Steven's right? a high roller, yeah. Jeez, yeah. uh, okay, so two damage, and where's, where's our damage? Here we go. Um, oh, I got the same yeah. card. Oh, good. Uh, why are you complaining about damage, though? Damage is great. <laughs> Not all of us like damage. <laughs> uh, Would you loan me a leather coat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Minus two, so I fail. Take two damage. Um, am I worried about direct damage? Do I, maybe I'll do one and one. 
Want to go in on leather coat? Yeah. Okay. That puts your... Yeah, okay. Calm I'm down. Six you're, to fight with... Physical uh, skills are yeah. up to four? Yeah. Um, let me do my Amanda stuff. Let's put... We're going to get those clues. Promise of power. All right. <laughs> All right. This is happening. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I go? Uh, let me go first. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to draw. Ooh, there we go. Second until the end of time. Nice. And then third, I'm going to play uh, Token of Faith. So go go wild with your yes. Power. I plan to. <laughs> <laughs> Not a real cop. Uh, bought us a drink. Spent cha you have, you haven't been on stream lately. Spent channel points. Drink. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh Finish nine. your beer. Um, yeah. I've got a quarter of this left, but you could grab me one too, please. Sure. Maybe just a Lagunitas IPA. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, sweet. I'm going to start, I'll start with the investigating. So I'm, oh geez, why are these tokens so far away? Ugh. Are you okay over there? Sprayed on me. Oh, that happened to me yesterday with one of those. I'm sorry, I probably should give you a heads up. Uh, I'm, 24 hours later, it's still exploding. That means it's not like they were shaken. They're probably just over carbonated. That, that sucks. Sorry about that. Oh. Cheers with a Cheers. with a foaming beer. Oh, this is actually for after I finish my other one. Anyway, I'm investigating with a promise of power, so I'm throwing a curse in the bag. It does happen, um, yeah, before I draw. Okay. Jeez, I forgot promise of power says if you cannot take two horror instead. You really don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to use that if you don't have any. I mean, it that. sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, I guess you might. Uh, so I am at uh, seven to three on this investigate. Curse. Anyway, you have a token of faith, so. Skull is minus, minus two seven. at an unflowed location, so I pass. Hey, and we had a bless token. So yeah. You can burn the skull into a bless. Curse out. Let me get this stack back here. Curse out, bless in. Love that. And I get the clue. And then I'm going to do it again. So curse in. All part of real cops' plans. Uh, elder thing is minus three, so yep. pass. Nice. Get this clue. We're at f uh, you don't have any clues, so you're at, we're at four mm -hmm. out of yeah, six. Yeah, still only okay. two to it. Yeah, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just take the key. Why not? I'm already I already got one key, which means most of the stuff that will punish me for having keys is already gonna hit me. It's the yellow key. Which is what we needed at the bone ridden yeah. pit, right? Okay, we just need the clues off of there. Uh, and then third action. I'm gonna play deep knowledge. Two more curses to draw three cards. Yeah. Wait. Ooh, that's a lot of draw for you. And that's a lot of potential weaknesses. Last action. <laughs> maybe I don't. Maybe I don't actually do that. I'm gonna save that maybe for the start of a future round. And I'm gonna spend three resources on a grizzly totem right now. That seems like a good. That seems yeah, like a good third action fair. play. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right. Uh, I went first, right? So upkeep. Did you? What? Did yeah. You? Oh, you played I a bunch of assets. assets I wanted to play yeah. my token of faith. Yep. Before. Uh, that's legit. Okay. Upkeep. Yeah, I have all my soak now. Um, Oh, that's good. Okay. New round. Fourth Doom out of seven. Yep. Four Mythos Busters out of seven. Yep. Fast Calvin turns and we wonder if he went. <laughs> Could happen. Rising Tides. Increase the flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. Could you throw a fl Where are the floods? It's yours. Okay. Yeah, on the on my title pool. Well, you already got that. Uh, that's fine. That's a great time for that to flood. Yep. Um, that's it. Uh, Riptide. If your location is unfloated, gain Surge. Otherwise, test Agility 3, 4 instead. If you're fully flooded, if you fail, choose and discard one. Asset you control. If you cannot, lose one resource for each one. Okay, so unflooded. So gain Surge. Macabre. This can do 2 Horror. That's fine.
minus one, so I fail. Uh, do I want the two horror? Probably do, right? I think I want all, all the horror. Yeah, now you've got fours across the board, yep. pl plus your Pete. I got agility. twice your stats. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you're not drawing as many cards as I am, so there. Uh, damn it! I have now drawn both of my cryptic writings out of turn. <laughs> you put it under you for two it's good, it's good card. I actually, that is part of why it's in my deck, is because the fallback is like not that bad. Um, it's not that great for this turn, where I'm probably going to move, move. Um, so this turn, when I might not test at all, I'm just going to put this other Grizzly Totem under. Oh, yeah. Cycle that out. Okay, um, and then, yeah, first action, I think I draw these cards. I, I, now I think I play Deep Knowledge. Uh, would you throw two curses in the bag, please? Yeah. This is my first time playing with Blessings and Curses on a physical bag. It's fun. Uh, it is fun. It's, it's, it's some upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite thing about Arkham is... I was actually, I'm, I'm in, it's not Mythos Buster's Discord, but I'm in a Discord with Maxine, and I was um, searching this game room that I'm in now for these tokens, because I bought them a year ago and I haven't used them, but we were going to today, and I was like wondering what to do, and she suggested using an app for the Chaos Bag, and I, I to the designer of the game, was like, fuck, fuck no, the Chaos Bag is half the fun <laughs> I will, I will make the bag work. Right, and I did. Uh, that's right, yeah, I get three cards. It's not just two curses. I know that would be exciting enough, but... Yeah. Um, okay. Second and third actions, I'm gonna move. Since you're selfishly giving yourself all the draw, do you want to give me a Spell Seekers? Uh, I forget your location to do any of those What? Things. No! Yeah, spell Seekers is way better than that. What? Yeah, you don't have to be I don't have to do your location. Did I have to for deep knowledge? Yes, I did yeah, have yeah, to for deep yeah. knowledge. Okay, yeah, you can scroll secrets. All right, can I, can I have it, or do I want it? Uh... Oh, uh, yes, I am the one who benefits from you having this. You can have it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Self-sacrifice. Nice. Self yes, I would love for you to have that. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, second and third. Well, then I would be happy to have enemies. I can murder eight enemies. That's not a problem. Actually, that's true. It is a little concerning how few enemies have been drawn. Um, that bowl is still in this deck somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I have found the Underground River. Four Shroud, four Clues, Victory 2, and after it's revealed, increase its flood level. Could you throw a uh, yep. partial flood on there? Oh, interesting. So they're both four Shroud now. Well, four, oh. you, this one's four Shroud if you come to it. If oh, because it's reduced by keys. Yeah, okay. So that is more reasonable. Maybe I should have just headed for it, but that's fine. This is fine. All right. Um, so your turn is done, right? Yeah. Um, have you been doing that? Have you been doing that for me every round, flipping? No, no. I was just... <laughs> like, I didn't think we had been bothering. <laughs> um, I will. Oh, that's a lot of clues there. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Could you help me investigate here if I come here? Um, right? Sure. All right. Move, move, and I'll investigate. How much help do you need? Well, if you use Grizzly Totem, even like one icon is pretty decent. Okay. You're right. Grizzly Totem is up since I didn't test at all. Um, I'm going to throw in... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I was trying to figure out if I could throw in Whispers from the Deep and like nullify its negative one with the <laughs> with the Grizzly Totem, but I think it would make it a minus two. So fine, just take it. Cryptic Writings for plus two. Oh, thank you. Yep. And I guess it's plus three, right? You're gonna use Totem, I assume. Yeah, there's no reason not to, huh? Yep. Plus three. <laughs> You're like, give my half. Right. <laughs> yeah. Elder thing. Plus three. Nice. Hey, I can get clues. Who got a clue? I like it. But just because you're getting clues, don't expect me to fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a two-way street. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh. I just I finally drew take heart now that I can actually pass all my tests. Oh, good. Oh. And fifth doom. 
I drew good things too. Your card. It is, and I'm trying to give us some actual face time because we're we're people. Yeah. Um, I, but half half of Mythos phases I have forgotten to click over for the Mythos phases just when I try to do it. Anyway, Dreams of Rilia. Put it in play in my threat area. I get minus one willpower and minus one sanity until I discard it with a three willpower dust. We'll see when that happens. I might be able to do that. Oh, I, I would take you up on that. Uh, Memory of Oblivion. Test will four or book four. Uh, for each point you fail by, choose and discard a card from your hand. Uh, yeah. I, I had a pretty bad time with that, to be honest. Um... I have six cards left in my deck, two of which are weaknesses. I don't love this. Thank you, Azrael. Streamers are people, too. I will commit to take heart this, even though I'm zero, so I might accidentally pass. <laughs> I really hope I fail by, like, one. Yes! You did it? Yep. I failed fail by two, but... Uh, still. Good enough. Okay. Oh, but th this does... Does this count as flooded? I think it does, right? Yes. So I take a damage. Yeah, cool. I'm damage okay with you. that. I'll okay. just I'm just gonna be fucking badass. Yeah, um, do it. You got until the end of time, keep it, saving you from direct damage. I draw so. two and gain two resources. And uh then I discard two. I'll discard a wing it. I'm gonna put that separate to remember that it and I'll discard. Ooh, what? oh, and a P and a piece Western. Seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. My one regret with the stream is that we're not in a hot tub. That's all the rage today. <laughs> have you seen the that um, streaming in hot tubs had become such a so popular and such a controversy that Twitch like updated its rules around it today and created a category on Twitch for it. I did not see that. Yeah, so That's now good. now streaming in hot... Basically, the new rule is streaming in hot tubs is fine, but do it in the hot tub section, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which, Ooh. Sure, that seems legit. Oh, do your um, Amanda shit. Yep, Amanda shit uh, is going to be... Uh, I'm going to choose Whispers of the Deep to go under Amanda. Oh, nice. Uh, I can get a bunch of clues. Okay, I also can, but... Even with this... Oh, because you got your special shit? I, I have my signature, so I can swap it out. Um, well, I would like to get two of them. Sure. Do you want to go first? And then sure. I can clean up. Hopefully clean up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, although the one other thing I can do is... Honestly? Mm -hmm. mm, wait. What, what happens... So I, I'm I'm not the type of person to not look at my basic weakness. Plus, I've searched my whole deck. Uh, there's a mob enforcer that is going to be drawn soon. Does that just go in my thread area? Do you remember exactly what that yeah, yeah. says? So maybe I go first because then if sure. I draw it, yeah, yeah, I can go. Then you can kill it. Yeah. Um, because I think I'm gonna start with some deep knowledge. Um, how many of these cards would you like? Because we're in the same spot, I can share them with you. Oh. Um. I'll add two curses to the bag. If I'm you already would. at six, so I don't really need more than one. Okay. Um, whoa, that is. I tried to switch the scene. That is from playing Apex. Uh, let's try. That's better. Uh, that cult needs to go in the bag too. Oh yeah. Uh, you only need one. Okay, that's that's fine because I'm kind of trying to draw my weakness yeah, while yeah. we have this whole round ahead of us. So, not a weakness. Weakness. Mob enforcer. It's in my threat area. Uh, I can also spend four resources to parlay it, which you is actually save my bullets. Reasonable. Okay. So in that case, I'm I'm probably just gonna let Whispers of the Deep sit here this mm -hmm. round, and you can have all the clues. Uh, okay. Second action, I'll parlay Mob Enforcer, spending four resources. Damn, you're already through your deck. To discard. Yeah, I'm about to shuffle. <laughs> we haven't got through the first act yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, third action is. What's my third action? I don't want to investigate because I'm at negative one from my skill card. Uh, it's probably just, uh, since I've got so many cards with icons, I don't need to save this for its icons. I'm just going to play this cryptic writings to gain two resources back. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's not a card you really want to be spending your action yeah. playing, but if, if, my, if I was looking at it, it's like I'm about to just gain a resource as yeah, my action, yeah. then I might as well play that. 
All right. Uh, so um, I am at four intellect. I'm going to spend one to play winging it. So I'm at four to five. Um, I will commit resourceful to be six to five. Nice. Um, and I have things I can do if I. Wait, what? Why are you? At, it's to four, right? You're investigating. Oh wait, four, uh, four shroud. I'm at five, sorry. I'm at five to three. Guys, uh, <laughs> we we well, it reduces the shroud. Oh, it reduces the shroud. Okay, well, that's so right, I said that's six right. to four, but I'm at five to three. Okay, fair enough. Effectively. The same. Well, what you said was six to five, and that's what it threw wow. me. Curse. Curse. Okay, good start. Next time we can have our covenants, and this will be better. Uh, okay, so I fail by one. Oh no! What will I a survivor will, do about that? I will lucky, and I will also token of faith so that I play nice. then. Take out the curse, put in the bless. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, Could have been so good. <laughs> and Azra Azra wants the corgi hot tub stream. Um, we have not yet. Throwing the corgis in the hot tub. Probably won't. I don't think that hot tubs are good for dogs. But I, I will try to find some way to combine those into one camera shot someday. <laughs> oh, and uh, wait. So if I lucky... I committed resourceful already, but it doesn't actually resolve until after I played the lucky, right? So I can take the lucky back, I believe. It says if successful, right? Yeah. Y yes. I, don't... I think that's right. I think you can take the lucky right back. Cool. Um... And what do I want to do? So that was just my first action. I don't have another wing yet. Um, do you have icons? If I wanted to... I have icons. What do you want to do? <laughs> um, or I, how, bad, how bad is the Dreams of Riley for you? I mean, minus one willpower. My, minus one sanity is... I don't particularly care. Okay. Yeah, why don't I just try to find this last... Uh, oh, let's say, should we advance? Oh, we got the clues? Yeah. I guess the, I don't know, the amalgam might come. L let me get the clue first, because it's a victory point. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, if you have an icon that you wanted to contribute. Uh, to investigate? Yeah. Yeah. As much as this pains me, I'll play Attempt Fate for its icon and make it two icons. Nice, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so I'm plus two. And, you know what, I have a... An extra token of fate. So I'll be plus three. You don't have Relic Hunter yet, so you can have both in play? Each you not, is I do not have a level zero <laughs> Relic Hunter color. Damn. <laughs> zero. Okay, so we get the last one. Sweet. Um, and then, sure, let's spend some... Okay, let's spend all yours. Oh, wait, I don't think I have any cards that care about my clues, I guess, so whatever we do. I'll spend four. It's fine. Okay. I'll spend two. I'm just used to, as a seeker, being like, yeah, I'll be the one to have clues left. Uh, recognition. Uh, you find a path that leads deeper into the strange cave system. Before, before you can follow to see where it leads, the sound of water sloshing behind you sets your heart racing. When you turn to face the sound, what you see next nearly causes you to faint. It is an enormous hybrid of many faces and shapes. Some human, some aquatic. All of them misshapen and revolting. <laughs> As the thing draws closer, you meet the frozen gaze of one of the faces upon its body, and you realize that you recognize it. So we do spe uh, Amalgam, engage with the lead. Oh, lead oh, investigator. Lead. Oh, what have you done? Uh, then we shuffle the rest of the cards uh, into the encounter deck along with the and, discard pile. And the Amalgam, after it engages you, if you control a key, place one of your keys on it or it attacks you, it can have one of my keys. We're going to get it back, right? Hopefully. I'll give it the purple key. Uh, and then we shuffle each of the set-aside title locations together. <clears throat> Uh, including the set aside ones. Put locations uh, okay. on the top of the title deck into play, below to the left and to the right of each revealed location. Right. Okay. And we reveal flashback one. Or we read flashback one. Ooh. Do we have the Mythos Busters reading? Yeah, one? I, I think, think we, we do. do. Um, flashback one. Oh, come on, Ian. Flashback one. <laughs> you stand in a small office examining a worn photograph in a well-polished wooden frame. In the photo, a squad of men in military uniforms pose in front of a Bristol F-2 fighter plane. Several of the men wear tan British uniforms, 
but one sports the olive overcoat and khakis of an American soldier. His sleeves each bear a rectangular patch striped vertically with a captain's paired silver bars. At the bottom of the photograph, in black ink, cursive handwriting reads, British Fourth Army outside St. Quentin, 1918. The door to the office opens suddenly, startling you. We were shuffling you put the, the photograph day. down mm-hmm. and turn to address the man entering. Hey, we didn't get the ball. You identify him immediately by his dark brown skin, his strong jaw, and his broad shoulders. It is Thomas Dawson, the American from the photograph, though he has aged a bit since his war days, and heavy bags hang under his eyes. One more ends... A new one begins, he says quietly. Only this enemy is even harder to root out. You ask the man what a war hero is doing in the investigative business, and he chuckles softly in response. War hero? I don't know where you heard that from. I was just doing my duty. You shake your head, but do not argue further. You suspect that the squadron Captain Dawson rescued would disagree as well. In any event, I suppose you're wondering why I summoned you here to Boston, he says, gesturing for you to take a seat in front of his desk. You sit and respond to his remark with affirmation, wondering aloud why a telephone call would not have sufficed. This is a sensitive matter, he replies. A few days ago, I lost contact with one of my agents, a Miss Alina Harper. I had her investigating several strange reports I've received in the past few months, all concerning a town called Innsmouth. Do you know the place? It's along the coast to the north of your town of Arkham, just by Ipswich. You know the place. Though most have never heard of the shadowed, decrepit seaport, those who do hear only ill rumors. From what you understand, The town used to be a lively port before the War of 1812, but has since become dingy and run down. The only railway line that runs through Innsmouth is abandoned, and there are no references to the town on any maps or in any guidebooks you have ever seen. Perhaps she's found something curious or has gone into hiding, but I suspect foul play. It could be mob work, but I doubt it. I'm not sending any more agents until I know for sure. However, I have some room in our discretionary budget to hire a third party such as yourself. You assume Agent Dawson is dancing around the truth, which is that you are expendable. I know it isn't much to go on, but I need to know the status of Agent Harper. Even bad news would be better than no news at this point. If you do me this favor, yeah, (laughs) he's scrolling the can. I'm like, oh my god. You ask which agency Dawson is referring to. A smirk tugs at his lips. When you snap back to the present, you still gaze at Agent Dawson's face. Only now his smirk is twisted in a haunting visage of agony. It is just one of the many faces that writhe and torment throughout this repulsive creature's scaly, pulsating flesh. In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record a meeting with Thomas Dawson. We did it. We met him. Um, Yeah, Ian reads these well, but it is sure... He sure takes his time. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay. That was during your turn. uh, Did you have one action left? Okay. Oh, did we... uh, The next act is probably important, right? Mm -hmm. The Escape. What the hell is this place, and why have you been trapped here? You have to find a way out, but more of your memories might be tucked away in this pit. After location is revealed, put locations from the top of the title tunnel deck uh, below to the left and to the right of that location. So that's what I was thinking of before. Objective! There must be a way out of here somewhere. Um, I guess I could engage it with my last action. Um... Well, okay. You could. I don't mind taking the hit from it, in fact, because then it would put my research library in, in my Discord file before I shuffle, and then I can get, oh, okay. get the Zoke yeah, back. Oh, that's pretty good, too. And I have a stunning blow in hand, so that next time I can actually, like, 
Evade Next it. turn, I can like get my key back from it by evading it, do one damage to it, so you can finish it off and leave. Well, you have to evade by two, which an automatic evasion is not. Why? Oh, on for oh, so so on blood. Yeah. No, that's not. You were saying that's what the amalgam says? No. After you oh, by two, evade or? by two. I I just sat there reading that card and did not process that multiple times. Yeah. Huh. Well, okay, I could. Uh, I mean, it's I could do it. I would just. Put some curses in the bag or something. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm okay with curses. Um, I mean, I ultimately want to get ten in the bag at some point in this game. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Well, if you're fine with that, then. And I guess killing it's not that great because it just pops out the next time you draw an older thing. Yeah, so if we want to just evade it and leave, get the one key that's on it and leave Are you okay it. with me leaving? Like, are you going to be all right? Um, not if I draw a second enemy. Okay, I'll stay. Okay. I will just <laughs> draw a card. All right. Hey, okay. Uh, and then upkeep. Not a real cop. Spent, oh, wait, no, sorry. Enemy spent points on highlighting messages say I love mess making my uh, messages annoying to read. Thanks for that. Uh, yes, the Amalgam attacks me, it, uh, amalgamates Ooh, the... Ooh, I just drew a really good card. Research Librarian. Very good card. And... So did I. It's Tempt Fate. Nice. <laughs> uh, so we're up to six Doom. It's Witching Hour. You can play your Arcane Initiate. Yes, my Arcane Initiate. Is that practice? Yes. <laughs> All right. And I have from the depths. If the amalgam is in the depths, put it into play and cage with you. Otherwise, place the amalgam in the depths and from the depths gain surge. Oh, goodbye amalgam. Wait, hey, does the key go with it? Yeah. Damn, I wanted that key so I could go. It'll the... pop back out. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Jesus. And again, surge. Who's a whiner? You I'm get, like salty. The boss right. just all right. Left you. <laughs> <laughs> boss, the three three two boss. <laughs> well, now the tides are rising. Are you happy? Yep. Increase the flood level of the nearest location. Um, no, it can. It, this, this one cannot. cannot be fully flooded. So let's flood. It says that can be. Flooded. That can be flooded. Yeah. So that's probably fine, right? Like it can be at one of the face down ones too. Yeah, but we don't need to go back there. We need to go through there. Not necessarily. I don't know. Sure, we'll have it your way. We'll flood the unfamiliar chamber. You happy? Mm-hmm. But that's kind of the closest to a home that we have. We woke up there, dazed and confused. Really gonna let it flood? Uh, and I got dreams of Riley. Um, oh. I don't think I care too much. Who needs sanity? Um, so it does not, doesn't help my stats the way that Horde does. And leather was not a test on that treachery while I had whispers from mm -hmm. deep, so yeah, that went great. Okay, um, our turns, huh? Yep. Get rid of whispers from the deep. Uh, so what are we doing? It stole my key. Basically, my my turn was kind of planned around that amalgam, so now... Oh, you poor baby. I know, right? Maybe the seeker should go, like, find some clues. Yeah, but I need that key to get the clue. No, there's, <sighs> there's tons of other locations. What? <laughs> because just because there's five unrevealed locations? We actually don't need clues, to be clear. Well, we need... We need cl some locations to be cleared of clues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Let's throw the... Promise of power under me. <laughs> um, and while well, I have this, should I try to just clear our dreams? How much do you care? Like, that's, oh, yeah. that's hurting you. That, I would, yeah, that would be nice. I actually, in the dreams, the minus one sanity and willpower is not really bothering me, but I could try to clear yours. Yes, I'd appreciate it. Okay, curse in the bag. Does that bless belong in the bag, too, that's on the table? Probably, yeah. I think, is that the one I threw at the bag and missed? Probably. Okay. 
So uh, it is my willpower is at minus one. So with promise of power, I'm just at five versus three. Uh, oh yeah, let me check mine. I can't. Uh, I can't help you. Oh, you can. Totally. Oh, make, that makes it six versus three. Sure. Yeah. We've got a bless. And another thing. Okay, well, up by two. Oh, so. uh, you you said you wanted the amalgam. That's if succeed or fail. The amalgam shows up. Yeah. Oh, all right. What exactly does it say? Just uh, it's engaged with you. All right. No, well, you can evade it. Maybe you'll get your key back. Um. Yeah. Sure can. Bless is gone. Okay. Uh, I did clear your dreams. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Second act. You're welcome. Second action, I will evade the amalgam. Um, oh, actually, uh, wait. wait, wait, that should have been. Uh, you you drew a boss. Yeah, yeah, your token faith is uh, is no good here. Uh, what I was actually going to do was punch the amalgam with a stunning blow. So I think I still will. But can you evade by two with an? I don't think that'll work to get the key. Oh, to get the key. Interesting. I think you have to evade. That's annoying. Who designed this? I can give you one icon if it helps. I can also do one icon without. I think too you much want downside. to be plus. Let's see. So you're a plus four right now. Um, plus five at least helps because you want to be. Let me uh, let me tempt fate. Let's see what my last card is. Oh yeah. Ooh. If you search an empty deck, do you shuffle your deck? No, it it probably it probably won't matter, but Android practice makes perfect. So nice. it could. Uh, well, make sure to put the yep. three and three in. Three and three. It's interesting. Now we can look at how big the stacks are to see how much is in yes, the bag. Yes, I actually uh, kind of like that better than checking tabletop simulator chat. Yeah, the tabletop simulator one's not great. Oh no, token fell. So wait. Uh, oh, but you didn't actually put an icon in. Do you want me to put an icon in? Oh, I'm still well. So so you're only plus four. I think you want to be plus five because. You want to succeed yeah, by two and I'm at master. plus four. I don't mind um, throwing one in. I can throw one in so that I'm at plus five. If you want to also throw one in. I think, only I think one, plus, plus five one minus four. Plus five, right? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll just pass this. We can also get the key back by killing it. Like, it's fine. Just... Elder thing. Perfect. Okay, so succeed by two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and nothing happens while the amalgam was in play? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's so, why like killing it's not that good because it just take comes the out key, all, evade all it. the time. Did I cheat slightly? Did I not put my promise of power curse in there? I put the tempt fade in. I think I didn't put the promise of power yeah, curse. Yeah. So, whoops, it's in now. There were only eight curses in the bag instead of nine. It really, <laughs> it really threw off that 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 play. I'm sure. Um, okay, then last action. I think I'll move like uh, probably to my right. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, Elder Thing is not if you fail on hard. Uh, Apathetic Playa. Uh, you might be thinking of normal. We're, at, we're yeah, playing on hard We're playing on hard difficulty. Yeah. Okay. Explore this title yes. tunnel. We are on hard. Sealed exit. If an investigator at the sealed exit controls the green key, resign. After the sealed exit is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Brilliant. I've played on hard for a long time. This guy, I've recently been convinced. I'm the one who generally plays standard, but my blind play of Innsmouth on standard was so smooth and easy. I was like, all right, we're going to kind of turn this up. <laughs> it might have been a fluke that my run with Kyle has been as oh. flawless as it's been. So but... after you reveal this, we put uh, more title oh, locations. that's right. Yep. Title tunnels next to it. Okay, and it's fully flooded, so I definitely have to leave that next turn. Okay. Um, your turn. So then I'm going to go here, and then I could potentially go here and help you out if you draw an enemy's thing. Okay. So, first action. Underwater cavern. Oh, so the teleported ones. So, two clues. Um, and you can move from here to any flooded cave location. I love that for us. After it's revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Okay. Um, well, we don't really need clues for the sake of clues, so I think I should just keep going, right? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, keep going. We don't need those. So second action, I'll go here. Title pool. Okay, so this one has the third clip, the third key. Mm. Um, and and this is not flooded yet, right? Two clues. Yeah, it does not start flooded. So get those clues before it floods. Oh yeah, I think the next agenda might flood. Might it, flood. Right? It's, yeah, true. Yeah. Um. So. Do you have look what I found? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I am at four to. In I'm four to three to investigate. Good night, Azrael. Thanks for joining us. I. Uh, and I am at seven cards. Um, I'll just investigate regularly. Okay. This a dude. This a no. Cultist. Cultist. So I will lucky. And location's not flooded. So it's alright. Yeah. Pay one. Get the clue. Oh, and yeah, Apathetic points out we still have some title tunnels left to draw. So I think when you went down here, it should have gone to oh, yeah, beneath yeah. it, which just puts it out of frame, but I promise it's there. Does it. Here we can. Uh, there. Right here. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's, it prioritizes below. Interesting. Okay. Well, there. Oh, wait. I don't know what it prioritizes. I forgot that left, say left below, was also. It, it says below to the at first. So, below to the left and to the right. Yeah, I don't know whether you're supposed to follow that in order. I guess so. Um, I can always. The truth beckons there. Like if it's the thing we need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that's both of us, right? Yeah. So uh, the amalgam just readies, and then it's six upkeep. resources and my seven cards. One, two, three. I gotta four, take a six, horror seven. and shuffle, but it's my first horror, so not a biggie. And we finally advance the agenda. Right. Uh, the flood begins. Your worst fears are coming true. Puddles of water that had barely reached your ankles are rising and joining one another. You scramble to find higher ground, but your efforts are for naught. In a matter of minutes, the water level has risen to your knees and shows no sign of slowing. Increase the flood level of each revealed location. Ugh. Yep. That's a lot of flooding. Until the end of the game, each time location is revealed, increase its flood level. So Oof. it would have been yeah. increased no matter what. Um, revealed location. I mean, or you could flood them now, and then we just ignore the text saying when they re get revealed, flood them. Uh, yeah, we can, we can we can do it properly. Uh, increase. So this means this goes to full. This one was already flooded, right? I forget what. Uh, was. yeah, it was flooded once. And this can't become fully flooded. So that one stays the same. This one is already fully flooded. Okay. Well. Wasn't too bad, but it just does mean that in the future everything's going to be a little bit flooded. Wasn't this tidal pool already flooded? Yeah, that might be right. Yeah. Yeah, I think the whole top row is now underwater. Woof. Okay. This is fine. On hard, the tokens barely change. You just lose if you fail. Apathetic sense. That sounds right. The numbers are not bad. The 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 the, the actual numerical tokens change a bit too. sure yeah on a hard bag obviously the what's in there the typical change. thing is like i feel like normal you try to be plus two and hard, hard you try to be plus three okay uh cards macabre memento test will power three if you reveal a cult to soak in an auto pick well feel safe to horse remember to pick out a curse oh last that curse. Power? it's the last curse oh i need to get my grimoire down all right i got my plan for the turn <laughs> Uh, expert, you try to never reveal a cast token, I think is the thing. <laughs> Jeez, there's a lot of tokens in this bag. <laughs> We've got a cultist, which is an auto fail on Recob Memento specifically. So, oh, uh, that's two horror. That's fine. I'm up to three horror. It's, it's not gonna, it's not the end of the world. What are you doing? Do you need to draw a card? Oh wait. <laughs> Uh, blind sense test agility three. I'm at six. Um, okay. 
it seems good. Zero. Zero. Okay. Good. Happens. So the amalgam doesn't hunt you down. Yep. Sweet. Okay. So my play with the bag full of curses is probably to play Grimoire, use Grimoire, and then move so I don't drown. Should <laughs> I just go and do that? Yeah. Is that fine good. with you? Yeah. Okay. I've got the resources, so I'll play a Cryptic Grimoire. And then second action, if there are ten curses in the bag, discard Cryptic Grimoire. We're going to record in the campaign log that we've translated the Grimoire and then replace five curses with lessons. That feels nice. Mm -hmm. And then third action, um, the amalgam is to okay. the left. Right, it's fun. flooded to the north. Found five curses. It was found that more easily than Gaze of Arash finds them. All right, and then I'll enter the altar to Dagon. It has no clues, and it says that if we, uh, if investigators at the altar of Dagon control the blue key or three or more other keys, they may spend four clues to take control of the green key. I guess we do need clues. Who needs clues? So I've got two. If you show up here right, with well, one let's more, trade these. Oh, but we don't have the blue key or three keys, so never mind. Mm -hmm. I feel like a Vegas dealer. Oh, you haven't put the blesses in yet? Okay. You were doing stuff. Oh, look at that. We got nine blesses and five curses in the bag. Yeah. I like this. Okay. So, blue key. Uh, how many clues do you have? You only have two? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to. It didn't matter because. Sorry, I forgot to do Amanda bullshit. Um, it didn't matter because I didn't take any tests that turn. I will just have thrown. Um, Probably, oh, a couple, I've cheated a lot, okay. Uh, Cryptic Grimoire, for the moment it was in play, had to replace my Scroll of Secrets in a hand slot. So Scroll of Secrets is gone, it had no secrets anyway. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a throwaway, I'm just going to throw, um, probably Stunning Blow under Amanda. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that move right could have just been death. Are there locations that fully flood when you? Re oh, because some they flood from the agenda and they could flood from their own text. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, but it wasn't death because. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. So results oriented thinking says that I made a great play there. Yep. All right, I will investigate with take heart. I'm four and four. Okay. Minus two. Okay, so I fail. Gain two and two. Ooh. Oh, I got my weakness. Uh, thirteenth vision. Uh, investigate oh. location, fail ties during skill tests. Um, I'll hmm. probably just double click this. I feel like that's pretty bad. Okay, I guess that's fine. I mean, if you get moving on getting that clue and key, then we could do the altar before I leave. Uh, I would, uh, oh yeah, we would. Yep. Yeah, maybe next turn. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Then the amalgam is just going to hunt. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, it doesn't have prey, so we can oh, send it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool. That seems ideal. And then... Fuck you. <coughs> Damn, I have a lot of money. Ooh, I got a turn. So did I. Also, kind of. <laughs> Just might throw some more curses in the bag, but other than that, it's great. Okay. Uh, do number one out of eight on the second agenda. Jeez, and there's a third agenda? I forgot there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of time on this Fine. scenario. Yeah. We got all the time in the world. The like, first time I played this, I got that, like, deep, the deep one bowl, like, immediately. And it was. Then you yeah. had less time. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did not do well. Uh, I got a swarm of rats. <sighs> Wait, I keep on like. Yeah, why do you? Your, the encounter deck is not in that bag. Fractured consciousness. 
Uh, test book three. This can cause damage. Um, I am at book four. Um, I don't love damage anymore. <laughs> yep, that's a statement. But I can take it. Um, I think I just test. Okay. I might draw some weapons. <laughs> Auto fail. Great. Uh, so I will kill off the leather coat and put one on the till the end of time. Now I really don't love damage. Bye, Lynn. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Yeah, it's midnight our time. I don't know what time zone uh, most of our viewers are in. Apathetic, I think, is in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, right? Or East Coast. I can't keep track, but yeah. We are, we are late night streamers when we stream a lot of the time. Uh, so I'll go first and try to get the clue and then move over to you. That yeah, that's best case scenario. Oh wait, uh, Amanda first. Amanda first. Um. So let's see. If you fail to move over to me, what am I doing with myself? I might. Do I just head to the bone ridden pit? Then is kind of the question. All right. Let me just. Um. I'll just stay flexible. I'm just going to put a promise of power under myself. It might just be used to punch a swarm of rats. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? All right. Uh, I will spend one on a wing. So that reduces Shroud to three. So it's four to three. I will also play a Resourceful. So I'm five to three. Uh... I'd like to be plus three. Uh, fuck it. I'll play a Ward of Protection as well to be six to three. I like it. I'm going to cancel treasures anyway. Let me just yeah. pass them. Curse. Curse. Good, good start. Oof. Just draw bless. Minus, Minus five. five. Jesus Christ. Well, let's put that last. Uh, we'll put the last curse, the ble last bless in there. Yep. Uh, that's not great. I don't get my resourceful, which is that's Damn. the real. That's the biggest problem, honestly. Um, uh, what do I do? Um, yeah, this is what I was a little bit afraid of. Um, so I can move, but then I won't get the key. Yeah, we well so and like there's no reason to come to me at the altar if you're not bringing that key with you. Yeah. Wait, who is does anyone have the blue key? No. Oh, I see. Blue is still. Um. Uh, I could try again, but I'm just four to four. Ugh. Um, you do probably want to be away from the amalgam, right? Yeah, I probably want to move once. Although, um, yeah, tr you don't have cards to really help because it'd be nice to get that clue before you go. Yeah, I don't. I pretty much burned all my investigation cards, other than this mm. one. Yeah, but, um. I think I'll just move once up here, and I'll play this uh, meat cleaver. Oh, okay. And that's me. Okay, I better start with punching the rats. So wh what else am I even doing? I don't actually really have... Well, I could play an asset. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Um... I'll punch the rats. I've got a promise of power, and I think this is my only test, so I'll use the grizzly totem. So I'm at seven to one. Uh, put in a curse first. Thank you. We've got a minus one. Sweet. Rats are punched. Catching up to you in body count. 
second action, I will play a research librarian. Oh. Yeah, it's going to search for a Tomasa. Unfortunately, my Scroll of Secrets is in my discard pile, not in my deck. So I don't think it's going to find anything. Oh, it finds a Cryptic Grimoire. I might as well put it in my yeah. hand. And I assume and, it finds yes, a Yes, and it finds an Astounding Revelation. That's right. Uh, which will get me my two resources back that I spent on that. It's yeah. basically a system of free soak. <laughs> is what I've got going here. And third action, I mean, I could play another Cryptic Grimoire so I can put more curses in the bag as an action. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what to do with this action, so oh, I might... Oh, you, you could test your dreams. Oh. Right, I have dreams of Rillia on me. Yeah. It's not the worst idea. Another thing I could do is, like, move to your location so that I can eventually go to a tile pool, because sure. is that kind of where we're at? It's either that or we come back to the altar to dig well, I mean, win it if or we you can the move up key. there. Like, I maybe that, that has something that gets you the the blue, blue key. key. What do you have to do to get the blue key? Is it three keys or the green? Are we at an impasse? Do we have three keys? I don't know. I don't some, know either. Some location <laughs> gives you the blue key. Yeah, it's out there somewhere, but hell if I know where. Um. Yeah, I'll just clear my. No, I think I move. I think I move here. I think I need to go get this key. While you just do, like, enemy management or whatever the hell you, Calvin well, does. Amalgam will be... Oh, I guess Amalgam, amalgam will be... Amalgam, we can head up. Yeah. Okay. And then that's it for Investigator, so Amalgam does move up, and we're ready. Mm -hmm. hmm. Drew another Cryptic Writings out of turn. Nice. Two down. And memory of oblivion. Test willpower or intellect four. For each point you fail by choosing discard a card from your hand. Okay, well I've got a promise of power, so here's a curse. Uh, um I will test Wait, hold on. Uh oh, never mind. I'll test my intellect, so I'm at six to four. Elder thing is minus three, we said? Damn. All right, so I fail by one and have to choose a discard card. It'll probably be this Grizzly Totem. Nice. That's pretty good. There you go. Uh, lurking Deep One. Oh, take one damage. Damage is not the one I wanted. No. That's rude. Um, oh, that's going to kill an asset. I'm one away from dying now. <laughs> Uh, okay. I mean, you have Peter, but... I guess, yeah. In a pinch, obviously, <laughs> you would you'd do that. Okay. Uh... Um, well, Amanda Bullshit is... Do you want cards? Yeah. I can give you cards. That'd be cool. Um, it's probably time... Because I want to go get that title pool clue, and it's at four shroud. Probably time to just use my signature. Just throw obscure studies under there. But you can technically throw anything you want under there. But oh, because obscure studies could just sub into for it. That's true. So then, yeah, I'll keep those options open a little bit, and I'll just put um, Eureka under. Uh, let me go first. Okay. Uh, I'll solemn value. So, oh. uh, feel free to throw a horror on me. Yeah, so Solemn Val says that it, uh, if we're at the same location, I can exhaust it to move a damage or horror from a card I control to a card that you control. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can absolutely have one of my horror. Okay. Oh, because it just goes on Peter, yeah. <laughs> Seems good. Uh, then I'm going to cleave this guy. We'll take another horror. But I should be able to heal it. You should. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like plus five, six, seven, I'm seven to two. Should be fine. There are more blesses and curses in there, although it has not felt like it. This is a huge bag. Yeah. <laughs> Minus three. Okay, cool. So he's dead. Uh, I can heal that sanitor that I just took. Um... 
And let's see, that was just one action, actually. Yeah, make sure that you either like go deal with the yeah, amalgam yeah. or move away from it. Yep. Um... Uh, so you're planning to go down there to get that clue? I think so. I mean, feel free if you really want to. But no, that was I, why I moved here in the first um, place. I guess I could actually get it. I forgot if we're at the same, I was going to say if we're at the same location, I can give you card draws, but you don't want to end here because you started it in this flood, in yeah, this fully yeah. flooded location. I guess I could get this one, then you can go get those or something. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, so I'll go here. Okay. I'll investigate with rice the occasion. Nice. So four plus three versus four. Seven to four, I like it. No! Minus four! Yikes, I've used my luckies and stuff, so. Yep, no good. No we are drawing terribly today. <sighs> okay, well, I mean, I guess you're still in charge of that clue. <laughs> uh, oh, this heals at least. And I'll head up to the bone-ridden pit, because that mm -hmm. place sounds nice. Yeah. Seems pleasant. Yeah. I have two keys, so Shroud is down to four. Um, but investigating with just Eureka would make it Five to four, don't love those odds. Kind of would like to trigger Eureka though. So let's practice makes perfect on this. Nice. Investigating, practice makes perfect. Let's find just like a perception. Those two in my shuffled deck. Uh, I found an astounding revelation. So with that, I will, I don't have anything to put secrets on, I'll take two resources. And. Deception or deduction? Both good. And yeah. Both it's deduction are good. and can you get the plus three if you use Grizzly Totem? So yeah, I think I choose I can also like I've played Practice Makes Perfect, it's not too late to to commit more cards, right? I don't think so. Yeah, so Let's do that, and I can throw in more cards to make sure that this hits. Because now it's a Shroud of four. I'm at two, three, four, five. So I'm only up by one at the moment, but I can play in like a Cryptic Writings to get up to plus three. Seems good. Could even do Cryptic Grimoire to make it four. I feel like I really want to pass this, the deduction and everything right. in there. So yeah. up by four. We've got a curse. Oh, we are, we said Grizzly Totem, but I didn't actually use it, right? Yeah. Did that make it five, or did I count it? I think you counted it. So two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Grizzly Totem made it up by four. I just didn't. Know. No, magnifying glass. No, so Grizzly Totem makes it up by five. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at plus three, minus two. Okay. Okay. I succeeded by one. That's enough for deduction. I won't tuck in faith because there's no more blinds to put in. Jeez, yeah. Well, but we got a curse out of the bag, so that's a thing. Um, I get both clues. And... Bone Ridden Pit again is what exactly? Um, if there's no clues and you control the yellow key, which I do, read flashback to. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that was... That was this is fully flooded, huh? But I started at the... No. Is it fully flooded? Yeah, I remember earlier commenting that the top row was fully flooded. So I'm, I have an action left. I'm just going to have to use it to move. Yeah. This will be fine. <laughs> oh, God. But read the flashback first. Yes, reading the flashback. Uh, flashback two. I'm not going to read the flashback. Flashback two. Flashback two. An Two. old fishing vessel rocks side to side beneath your feet, assaulted by tempestuous waters and the tentacles of some enormous creature looming just beneath the waves. 
Somebody kill that damn thing, the ship's <laughs> captain shouts. <laughs> a loud crash erupts across the vessel, and the hull howls in protest as a vast tentacle encircles it and draws tight. It's got us in its grip. It ain't going nowhere. Now's your chance, the grizzled old captain yells. With fire in your eyes, you raise your weapon and swing. You return to the present, a sickness churning in your stomach. The skeletal remains of the creature stare back at you. What on earth was that thing? In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record a battle with a horrifying devil. Remove one cultist token from the chaos bag oh, yeah. for the remainder of the campaign. Oh god, there's 35 tokens in here. Um, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at Ian's slow, soothing voice saying, what was... <laughs> What was the line? Um, someone, somebody kill that damn thing. But yeah. it was Ian's like, somebody kill that damn thing. <laughs> and yes, uh, KM Critty, I agree that Kyle's acting sucks. And this is way better. That's, that's Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the chat has a moderator to lay down the law. Kyle is the one and only moderator. <laughs> Optimal play. He has ultimate power. I guess technically I am too, but uh, I can't reach the computer. Um, I did it. I read the flashback. We took the Colts out of the bag. Let's make sure we don't accidentally throw that in. And I need to move Definitely so that I don't right. die. Yeah. Now I'm afraid. Now I'm apathetic pointed out that it, I could stumble into a location where... I don't think there are any that are... Are you sure? I, yeah. Let's try. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, you know, the what? that's true. Because the underwater tunnels, which are the... Or the underwater rivers, which are the... Rivers, which are the ones that flood when you enter them, cannot be fully flooded. Yeah, this should be safe. Okay. I think still ducks is So I'll them. explore this one. It is an underground river, which becomes partially flooded when we flip it, but cannot be fully flooded, so... That's fine. Um, so that's partially flooded and gets four clues on it. There's a, we don't need that many clues necessarily, but there is a victory point. So I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Well, you get that deduction back, right? Wasn't that a practice? Oh yeah, I sure do. So that'll help. Um, also, I guess I jumped ahead to the flashback, but I should trigger Eureka for that test. Oh yeah. Uh, found a perception after all. I'll I'll take it. Kyle, it's it's only midnight here. You can go to sleep. Yeah. That's uh, way too early to go to bed. Okay, so I moved, investigated, moved. Okay. Your turn. So, no, I've already gone. Now. Okay, Amalgam's turn. So, Amalgam, I guess, could go down, right? Could chase me? Yeah. I think it must. You're closer to it than I am. Well, it could go here. Oh, yeah, send it down. Unless unless you want to go here, but... No, I don't. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's <laughs> hope it's nothing important. Yeah, probably isn't. In fact, we don't need the blue key. If we get four clues and three keys at the altar to Dagon, that gives us the green key, which is how we were done. But we want all the flashbacks. I don't think the, I thought the flashbacks all come from the random keys. No? Do you think we need a blue key for a flashback? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Kyle had lots of wine. That's a spirit. Cheers. Someone, someone buy Kyle a drink in the uh, in the chat. All right. Uh, did my upkeep? Did you do your upkeep? Next to my points, I have a literal infinity symbol. Can I buy? Can I buy the things? Yes. There we go. Drink. <laughs> nice. Uh, do number three. Drink. Uh, I think I did not yet draw. I did not do my upkeep yet. Okay. Why are you out of Four out of four for drawing cryptic writings when it's not my turn. Yeah. Undertow. If your location is unfloated, it gains surge. Otherwise, put this into play in my threat area. After I move, take two damage and two horror to discard Undertow. Or I can discard one card from my hand to test combat three or agility three to fight the pull of the tides to try to discard Undertow. Don't love this for me. But okay. Oh, okay. This is okay. Uh, yep. Young Deep One. Uh, it gives me a horror. That is okay. You've got a whole ally just to help you with that. Though it is, it does 
take three damage instead of two like the other ones. Mm. Slightly annoying. Um, yeah, actually, that's pretty. That's pretty annoying because uh, of the fact that the amalgam is close. Yeah, no, it's hoping to get a clue. Yeah, I mean, we want to meet at that altar. <sighs> um, it's a good net crack. I might have to just kill this guy and leave. Yeah. Um, do, do your Amanda shit. Amanda shit, okay. Um, I want those clues quite a bit. So... Yeah, I mean, get that victory point. Yeah. I have big plans for my, for my experience points. Uh, I'll put a perception in. Cool. Not seduction? Deductions, less icons. I mean, just draw well. You'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, there's something to be said. I could... Okay, wait. Where does deduction put me on skill? Four. And then I can put in two icons each test. Okay, fine. You've convinced me. Hmm. Deduction. Right. If I fail, it's your fault. Okay. Okay, as long as we're agreed. <laughs> Uh, I'll go first, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stab this guy. I'll. Oh, this should be healed. Uh, wait. No, you oh, just no, took it when you when engaged yeah, you. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. I'll stab. I'll put a horror on myself. Uh, it's, does make a really stab? It's more of a like a hacking. I will hack. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's basically that. So. Right. Five, six, seven to three. Seems good. Zero. Okay, that's two damage. It's insane how few blesses we've drawn. Yeah, it really is. Because, <laughs> uh, like, yeah, I mean, I could be adding more blessings. Yeah. Uh, I'll stab. Whoop! I'll stab again. I will not take a horror this time. There's a bless. There's a bless. Okay. That one. Nice. Okay. Nice. So that comes back there. All right. Kill it. Heal a horror. And then I think I have to just move here. Yeah. I don't. I don't have a lot of choice there. Don't want the amalgam to get you. I just don't have the damage yeah, to soak. And then right. Peter heals at the end of the turn. Find another leather coat. Okay. Uh, I've already used all my... All my damage soak has been used, <laughs> so I have to go through my deck. Then I'm on the very important duty of victory point collection. So I'm going to investigate... I'm going to just like forget about my undertow for now. I'm just, I think I'm just planning to not leave this turn, so... Uh, investigate with deduction, which puts my skill at four so far. So this first one will use Grizzly Totem and make it five, and we will throw in a perception to bring it to seven to four. Yeah, I can, I might be able to deal with your energy next time. Minus three, perfect. Okay, got two clues. Nice. Succeeded with perception to draw a card. It's a perception. Nice. I think I'll do the same thing again then. Um, investigate with induction. We said that that puts me at four versus four. Oh, and I don't have Grizzly Totem. Okay, so I'll put in Perception to be at six versus four, and this uh, is... You have Man Twain, though. I was counting that in my four. Oh, I see. Two, yeah. three, four. Yeah. Uh, I will put in Astounding Revelation to get back to seven to four. Minus three. Nice. Great. Got him. Victory point obtained. Card drawn from Perception. It's a mob enforcer. Oof. But I have an action left and resources to parlay it. Yeah. So. Nice. There goes. I'm a, I have a cheap deck, which is great <laughs> when mob enforcer is your basic yeah. weakness. <laughs> that's twice I've paid him off this game. Okay. Um, that, that's the round, yeah? Mm -hmm. The amalgam is going to move back there. Try to keep it out of the title pool, I guess. Yeah, we probably want to go back. 
Okay. And upkeep. Fourth Doom out of eight. Um, did I, I took a resource, I didn't draw a card. Yeah, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Not a card. Oh, wait, the, that's right, the card was Mob Enforcer. Okay. No, uh, no, no, the Mob Enforcer was not your upkeep because. You yeah, that was my action. Or that was the, um, my perception draw. Yeah, okay. Deep One Assaults. Disengage from Deep Ones. Each Deep One enemy at your location and each connecting location engages you, but if nothing does, then search the encounter deck and discard power for one and spawn it. So the yeah, Amalgam not, is not actually not affected connected. by this since it was not connecting. Uh, I probably take like the Lurking Deep One and just put in a good skill and punch it twice this turn. I could potentially come to you and kill it too. If it's the two, if it's the two HP one, okay. I'll take. Um, is there another lurking deep one in the deck? If so, I'll pull that one out. Yes. Lurking deep one. I take a horror because it engages. Uh, that's the one that is damage. You can't engage that. Just don't hit me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I don't currently plan on hitting. I take a damage. Shuffle the encounter deck. Give it a quick cut and take your card. From the depths. Uh, if it's in the depths, engage with you. Otherwise, place it in the depths and gain surge. Okay, that's fine. It being the amalgam? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Macabre Memento. Oh, this can give horror. That's fine. As long as it's not the damage one. Uh, so it's wolf three. That does fail. Uh, and if it's in the depths, it spawns engage with me. Oh, okay. Here, you found an amalgam. Uh, I have no keys. <sighs> yeah. But, uh, whew, that, uh, I might not be able to help you. It's fine, I'll go with the with the double punch plan. Annoyingly, when I do my Amanda bullshit, I do have to whisper from the deep. Ooh, yet again. I did. I'm almost I'm almost done with my second trip through my deck. Mm -hmm. Um That said, I can I can deal with it. Um Okay. <sighs> yeah, this has been annoying. Yep. Well, why don't I go ahead? I'll just deal with this. I don't, okay. I don't think there's any way that you end up like coming yeah. and helping me with my deep yep. one. So I will punch it, but when I initiate that, I'll play Obscure Studies to replace Whispers from the Deep with Obscure Studies. Mm -hmm. But you think Whispers of the Deep still in my hand, but... That's a problem for future Amanda. Uh, this is having me punch at five to two. Isn't that six? Oh no, you're right, five. That's pretty good. I guess that's fine. I might use the Grizzly Totem on the second one if I know that that would kill it. Tablet is minus two, right? Yeah. Anything else? If you control a key, take a horror. Oh, okay. Take a horror. Come over to me so I can solemn vow it back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that is a hit on the Lurking Deep one. I will do it again, and I'll go ahead and Grizzly Totem, so I'm at plus four this time. Uh, draw, draw a Bless, plus six. Minus three. Okay, sweet. I'll right. uh, put, uh, put the Bless back. Ah, oh no! I'll never find a Bless in here. Okay, got it. Lurking Deep one is dealt with. Final action? I think I undertow to try to clear this so I can move out next turn. Oh, actually, this isn't even an action, but um, 
Undertow says, for a fast ability, discard one card from your hand to test combat or agility three to fight the pull of the tide. Succeed, discard it. So I'll do that. Um, I can't choose my weakness, right? To, to discard here. But I, so. I will discard a deep knowledge. I'm happy with more curses and bosses being in the bag now that I've uh, identified my grimoire. So, uh, deep knowledge is the discard to trigger the test, and then I'm testing combat three with my obscure studies. I'm at five. I will go up to six with tempt fate. The question is, do I put in whispers of the deep to go back down to five? But plus three is pretty good. Then. Not have my whispers of the deep. Yeah, I know it is. All right, I'll hold on to those whispers, but they're going to be my. Um, they're going to be my card next turn, then. I guess I'm just moving a lot. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Minus three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that worked out. All right, the undertow is cleared. That was all fast, so I actually still have a movement, which I guess I'll use to move back to the altar. Or I have a, an action, rather. Mm -hmm. Um... The Malcolm's gone? Oh, you have no, You're on the Malcolm. Malcolm. The other thing I could do is like do the truth beckons and end up down here or something. That's not bad either. That's not bad. You could move. Like, yeah. You don't have to go through the enemy. Let's do it. It seems like as good a time as any. I'll spend the resource. Play the truth beckons, which says, play only if you're not engaged with an enemy. Move. Choose an unrevealed location. Move along the shortest path toward that location until you enter it. Uh, if an enemy engages you or your movement is blocked... Or you really oh, it. it's another underwater, underwater cavern, cavern. It's next to that underwater cavern. That's annoying. Oh, okay. This is fine. This one is one that if you reveal, it becomes fully fledged. Oh, so this one could could have screwed me, like if I had moved into it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because this one becomes fully flooded. That said, I was not in a fully flooded location at the start of my turn, so I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. And two clues are here. But yeah, we definitely had poor. <laughs> We've had poor distribution so far in the underwater caverns. Oh yeah, they're next to each other. Oh shoot. <laughs> Oh, except it can move to any flooded cave location, yeah. So I can get out of here. Oh, any flooded, not just... Yeah, so I can, like, use flooded. it to get up here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It is nice if they're spread out, but it's fine. All right. Um, there's not a lot of value in evading... Or, there's not a lot of value in killing the amalgam, so I'm going to evade him, uh, and I'm six to two. So tablet, if you control a key, I do not take a horror. Nice. So there. Um, so let's see. I don't have great tools to actually get that. I think I'm going to just discover this. So one, two. Uh, fish graveyard. After you and your turn at fish graveyard, if you do not control a key, you take a horror. do not control a key, take a horror. Oh. Oh. After you turn ends, I think that means... Oh, that's going to trigger, and then you then you get to heal Peter. Yeah. No, 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 but it's after your turn ends. That's also Peter's. Oh, yeah, out. you're right. Yeah, yeah, so I can heal immediately. Yep. Um, if there are no clues on it, and... You control the red key. So you don't have red key? It's got to be this key. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Uh, we can get flashback three. All right, and two okay. clues on it. Right. Oh, okay, I can get those clues. Cool. Uh, okay, then that's the round. The amalgam is at the sealed exit. I go up to $9. Hey. Hmm, okay. And five dunes. Yeah, time is starting to move. I found a Riptide. Oh, and... Oh, right. Uh, Riptide, if your location is unflooded, it gains Surge. Definitely flooded. Test Agility 3, 4, instead of your location is fully flooded. If you fail, choose and discard one asset you control. I don't mind that too badly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I think I'm going to throw... So, I'm at 5 to... Four, since I'm at a fully flooded location. I think I'm going to throw my Whispers from the Deep into this. Oh, yeah. That's, I'm going to throw my four to yeah. four. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Cultist. So I fail and take a horror because I'm holding a key. Is that right? If your location is flooded, oh. you damage. Which a damage. Every, Ooh, everything okay. is flooded. Damage is starting to add up on me. Um, you can discard Song. That's, I think, the plan. My What I'm trying to figure out is if I'm putting this damage on Research Librarian. I think I do because I want it to be in my deck when I'm shuffling yeah. it again in a second. So Research Librarian dies to the damage. Solemn Vow is sacrificed to the Riptide. Who knew that the abstract concept of a vow could be carried <laughs> away in the Riptide? Uh, I also got Riptide. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm at six agility, so I'm not too worried. Zero. Okay. Nice. Fine. Um, let me go first, because I might... I could also reveal this, and you can potentially teleport there with underwater. I'm most likely heading for this key, but though you sure. will get hit by the amalgam if you go there. Damn. Yep. All right. Let well, me... not if I teleport there, I get the key, and then leave. Oh yeah, that's, so that's a thought. Let me let me go first, okay? Because you may want to go up there. So I'm going to spend one dollar to wing it on my current location. Nice. So I'm four versus one. Mm -hmm. Curse. Okay. Zero. Hey, nice. Still pass. And I'll put a plus in. There you go. Why not? So I get both. Oh, these, you're right. Th th with the nice coin capsule tokens, like like swapping the curses and blessings up, pretty satisfying. Uh, and then yeah, no reason not to move up here, right? So sure. One, two, idol chamber. Oh, that sounds four important. Four shroud, two clues. After it's revealed, place the set aside blue key on it. Oh, okay. Uh, and then if there are no clues and you control the purple key. There's a flashback there. Okay. Okay. Uh, two clues. Okay. Uh, so I haven't taken my turn yet. Run mm that. -hmm. Okay. While he's out, I'm checking the flooding rules. It's not if I start and end my turn, it's if I'm never in one, right? If you did not enter an unflooded or partially lo yeah. flooded location. Okay, so I can do... Actually, I should have done this before his turn as usual, but do my Amanda stuff. Clearing obscure studies out to put... I think the only test that I'm taking is going to be an investigation, so... I will put a cryptic writings under for its two icons. I'm first action going to use the action on underwater cavern to move to another flooded cave location to move to this tidal pool. Hopefully, finally, getting this key. Investigating at two, four, five versus its shroud of four. Where's the totem makes it six. I'm trying to think about what's in my deck that's practiced. Your house is totally locked. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me text Ryan because I don't have my key on. Right? <laughs> uh, really? He locked the door. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, my dad's locked the door. Let me finish my turn and then, because I don't think that his phone's probably on. Do not disturb. Uh, okay. The I lost my train of thought. I was investigating two, three, four, five. Uh, that's a four. My, yeah, I know. Oh, that's right. I, what I was trying to do is figure out if practice makes perfect is going to find anything. Because <laughs> I have a very slim deck. I have four cards in it. Um, it's not going to find a promise of power. It's not going to find a perception or a eureka or a deduction. <laughs> Doesn't sound great. No. So I probably just put it in for its icons. Jeez, yeah, I'm running my hand down, but two, four, five. Oh, Grizzly Totem made it six to four. Yeah, I'm just I just need need clues. So mm -hmm. two more icons puts me at eight to four. Nice. Let's do this. Plus ten to four. Minus two. Success. Less with that. 
I think it, it, that's only one icon put in the practice. Oh, I put in practice and deduction. Oh, nice. Cool. Got the clue. I'll get the key. And then I'm going to move to this underwater cavern to get away from the amalgam. Cool. And that's my turn. Your turn is uh, done, right? I already went, yeah. Okay. Um, I can put up a be right back screen and figure out the whole <laughs> situation. This is awkward. I uh, will be right back. Amalgam, I imagine, goes down here? Uh...
All right, I'm back. Steven went back in a second. Uh, that may have involved climbing a fence and getting into a lockbox to get back into the house uh, that Ryan locked when he went to bed. So that was smooth. This this game room that we film in is uh, like a little studio across the backyard in the house we rent. So it's it's in a different building uh, than the rest of the house. <laughs> so that was fun. Also, dogs are here. Uh -huh. Come here, dog. Oh, they went outside. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I had finished my turn. I think we're, we moved the amalgam. Hi, dogs. Hey. I, yeah, wasn't, I, I wasn't calling you dog. Yeah, already... okay, so upkeep in my upkeep. Okay. I have a lot of cliffs. <laughs> I might say too many. I wouldn't say that. Okay, Doom 6. Rising tides increase the flood level at the nearest location that it can rise, which would be this tidal pool. I'm glad we're done with it. <laughs> Come here, dog. Uh, I got Undertale. Um, that's fine. I c this I can test. Oh, this is actually great. This is this works out really well. You're being camera shy. Um. Hi, by the way, SWX. Glad, <laughs> glad you're enjoying from the UK as we are up late. Come here. <laughs> All right, you can't bark. I'm gonna kick you out if you bark. <sighs> what did you draw? Sorry. Uh, I drew an undertale. Oh, okay. So Amanda stuff is these are not great actions. Um, so you got the clues here, huh? So I can just go here and do the flashback because I have the red key. So that's probably the play. Um, we still need to make it to the altar eventually. I also can do that now that I have all three keys and plenty of clues. Mm -hmm. But we want to do the flashback yeah, before the flashback. we, yeah. And then you have the... Where's the other flashback? Oh, it's here. Yeah, okay, I have both the keys for this. So Yeah, you, you should the... move to me. Uh, I can get the clues. You can move to me, do that flashback. And, and do the other flashback yeah, on the way, way back. back. Yeah, okay. Should I go first? No, oh, I should go first. I was in the process of Amanda stuff. Um, so I guess what I'm kind of doing is a lot of moving, so I don't really care what I'm putting under here. So I'm going to put this... Deep knowledge under. Okay. So my turn, I'm going to discard winging it for Undertale. Uh, I will test agility three. While you I'm do this, six. I'm going to hop behind you and close the door I left open. And I'll I'll tempt fate because okay. I think I think we're up to we have three blasts that we can add in, right? No, we only have two. Never mind. Oh, man. Never mind. I will not tempt fate. I'll just test plus three. Dun, dun, dun. Minus three, so that's fine. Pass. And. I don't think I knew until this moment that you're also running tempt fate. I think I only have one. Um, I was right. tempted. It was almost my 31st card cut, but instead I kept Temp Fate and cut Shortcut. <laughs> uh, I will try to wing it. Uh, so I am now 4 to 3. And I'll commit Temp Fate, I guess, to be 5 to 3. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, that was my first real action. Um, I will. Oof, so wait, if you fail, it just stays in your discard, right? Wing it? I think so. Wait. No, if you do. Oh no, it 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 gets shuffled in regardless. Okay. Of um. Uh, 
That's unfortunate. Um, I will second or no, yeah, second action. I'll draw again. Okay, third action. I will test four to four. Cool. Skull. Skull's minus two plus some for floods. So if you're testing four to four, uh, that won't do it. Oh, except I can it's like do so it's it. a minus three. So so you got ended up at one to four. Yeah. So it means I have to play lucky and look what I found, right? I don't hate it. These are the last clues we need the whole game, I yeah. think. So yeah. spend three dollars to get these two clues. Nice. Uh, would you like to take the blue key? Uh, no is a fine answer, because you get punished if you have any keys. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll and I'm not sure that. what I'll upside there is. Yeah. Because what's the blue key even do? Nothing, right? I assume it, it helps us get the green key, but we also have three keys, which is another way to get the green key. Interesting. Yeah, weird. There's nothing that... I don't think there's anything that requires huh? the blue key per okay. se. Yeah. Sure. That is a little weird, but... Okay. Okay. So my turn is going to be, I think it's triple move. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move from the underwater cavern via its ability to another flooded cave, which I'll join you at the idle chamber. Mm -hmm. Then since I have, since there are no clues here and I control the purple key, we're going to do flashback four after I get my key, my phone back on my pocket from our adventure. Um, flashback four. Here it comes. Flashback four. <laughs> You stand before a terrible onyx statue in a dark, dingy basement. It smells of stale, dank air and rotting fish. The statue depicts a creature that is a hybrid of both fish and human, covered in hideous, misshapen scales. Grotesque gills and fins blend with tortured human features. Its large, round eyes glare at you. In the distance, you hear the faint chanting of some kind of ceremony. Yahantle, Yahantle, <laughs> the voices cry. Just as you begin to make out the strange syllables, a splash behind you catches your attention. You duck behind the onyx statue and wait patiently as several figures approach where you stood just moments before. You hold your breath. The gentle sloshing of their steps as they wade through the water passes and fades into the distance. You allow a brief sigh of relief, but begin to follow close behind. In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record an encounter with a secret cult. Remove one Elder Thing token from the Chaos Pact Yay. for the remainder of the campaign. I did that while we were listening. It's over there. Nice. The cultists we took out is still over there too, right? Under that uh, bag or something? Have... Uh. It's not back in the bag is what I'm oh, wanting to double check. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, then I'm going to move, move, and in the fish graveyard, if there's no clues here, and I control the red key, which I do, we're going to do flashback three. Flashback three. Which will move our tablets. I'll do that. Hey, take a look at this. Your employer shoves a strange figurine into your hands. It is hewn of emerald stone and looks vaguely aquatic with two unblinking eyes and a row of sharp teeth. A piece of heart-shaped amber is embedded in its center. What do you make of it? You reply that you have seen nothing quite like it before, but it does happen to match the descriptions you have heard of the devils that skulk about the reefs a couple of miles beyond the harbor. Something Yikes. fishy is going on here. <laughs> Pardon my saying, okay. the man mutters, folding his arms across his chest. I'm glad I roped you in on this case. It's looking less and less like mob work with each passing hour. You nod in agreement and hand the strange figurine back to the agent. Everything about this town feels foul to you. Let's stick together from here on out, your companion says, his voice darkening. In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record a decision to stick together. 
Remove one tablet token from the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. All right, did that, and that was my turn. I moved flashback to double moved flashback. Nice. And did you go first? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so remember right. I cleared the clues. So That's they, right. So okay. you could do all this stuff. Yeah, much appreciated. So, phone off the table. Uh, the amalgam is going to move, like, let's send it left. Yes. Now it's going to work at altar. And then and it. upkeep. Argon, witching hour. <laughs> now that I close the door, one dog is out there. I don't know if the mic is picking up its his scratching his paws at the door, but he left and then was not happy to be locked out. Okay. Uh, yeah, witching hour, huh? It's a swarm of rats. Exciting. Mm hmm. And I got fractured consciousness. Book three. This could give me two damage. That would be bad. That could kill me, I think. Oh god, yeah. Um not that you're afraid of a little trauma, but still, don't Oh you can drop your clues. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot but totally intended to pick up this blue key while I was there, so I'm gonna take it, because why not? Um help me. Yeah, I think I just have to test this. <laughs> okay. If I die, I die. <laughs> any cards to any icons? I have no book icons in my hand. Draw. There's eight blesses in this bag. Find a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Is be blessed. Uh, skull is minus. Three at your partially flooded location. Yep, so uh, I just die. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, not the worst. All right, you're Calvin. That's supposed to happen. Yeah. All right, well, let's have as many encounter cards. So, let's see. I've got to punch my rats, which is like, well, so let me do my Amanda bullshit. Um, punching my rats is kind of easier said than done at the moment. Let's put in this. Action is annoying. It's just a one of in my deck, and I have not found a good turn for it. What is it on the first action? It's willpower, agility on the first action. The mm. plus combat is on the third action. Oh, yeah. Which, when oh, an yeah. enemy's on you, is like... It's good if you're trying to move and attack, but how many seekers do that? Uh, so, I guess it's just going to be... Tempt fate. Okay. Yeah, so, first action, I will... Punch the swarm of rats. That's pretty good. Yep. Uh, I'll use the grizzly totem here, so it's two, three, four to one. Bless six. Bless eight. <laughs> Curse six. Oh, you're not even there to token of faith anymore. Minus five. Oh, six minus five is one. I pass. <laughs> After. Wow. wow, bless, bless, curse, minus five is a spot-on pass to punch the rats. <laughs> wow, my, my next card was my weakness, so I actually would have got the same amount of trauma. Oh, if I had all right. <laughs> Fair enough, then. Um, okay, well, I don't want the amalgam to get me here, so what I do is I move twice to there. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. Okay, so the amalgam is just going to hunt... Here, I guess. Doesn't matter that much. Basically, next turn. Next turn, I go over here, get the last key, move back. The amalgam hunts onto me and hits me. It doesn't down me, and then I resign. That's yeah. basically the game plan. Well, okay. we'll see what happens. The amalgam might kick in. Sometimes it just goes out of. Sometimes depth. it just goes into the depths. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, so upkeep. I actually have to take a horror and shuffle for the second time this game. <laughs> And I do have minus one sanity from these dreams, so I'm actually... No, not, I'm one away from redlining. Okay. Not a good first draw. Okay. 
Uh, well, we said this, that, that that was the witching hour we had said. So this advances the agenda. High tide. You panic as the water level continues to rise within the cavern. Before long, you are swimming instead of walking on the flooded cavern floor. Many of the tunnels are fully submerged. If you don't get out of here quickly, there will be nowhere safe to catch your breath. Each revealed location becomes fully flooded. Um, other than the ones that can't be. So Underground River can't. The altar now is. Oh, shit. That is a problem. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so everywhere is fully flooded except for the two Underground Rivers. So I'm actually going to have to like go in, get the altar of Dagon Key, and head up here. Mm -hmm. And then move back down. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Keep this card next to the act deck as a reminder uh, and replace Agenda 3A. Or in advance to Agenda 3A, rather. Sacrifice for the Deep. Save for a few rocky perches. The entire cavern system is submerged in seawater. You have to find a way out of here and soon. Okay. For Doom. My encounter card is a Young Deep One. Ooh, Ooh. that's rough. All right. We'll figure something out. Uh, Temp Fate gets rotated out for... Hey, this is not my turn. Cryptic Writings again fails to hit. Uh, put, actually, Plan of Action is fine here. First action. Oh, man. What? No, this is fine. I just have to get there. And the next turn, I have to come back towards this. Towards the sealed exit. Because I have this enemy on me, I can't afford to move, get the key at the altar, and move to air. Mm, but can you get this? Oh, and the deep one engages me doing one horror. Oof, this is rough. Okay. This is very rough. Can you get this, though, on the way back? Yeah. So the plan will have to be get to this underground river this yeah. turn, and then on the way back, and then the next turn, move. Oh, shit. Yeah. You might have to yeah, might take two more turns. We send the amalgam this way. <laughs> yeah. So that I can move from here, yeah. come to altar and get the key, and then the next turn, and that'll be fine because I was here to start that turn. Yeah, yeah. Then the next oh. turn I move here next. It's doable if I don't take like any yeah. horror from treacheries or anything. So, all right, plan of action. If I evade this young deep one on my first action, it is a bonus agility. So it has my agility at four... Eureka will make five, and Grizzly Totem will make six to three. Nice. Hoping for the best here. Bless, eight to three. Elder Sign. What? What's my Elder Sign? Oh, because it says you can double the number of skill icons beneath the Mana Sharp. That's right. She has a pretty lame Elder Sign, but yeah. That's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> Infinite Jester. Hi, Drew. <laughs> it is Late Night Arkham. And to think when we started this, I had a fantasy that we might play two games tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so that goes. Okay, second action, I'll move to the altar. Third action, I'll move to the Underground River. That's it. Enemy readies, and the Amalgam can head up to the north, and I will upkeep, gaining a money, and a card, and... One Doom. Deep One Assaults. There are no Deep Ones near me, and so I have to search for one? Ooh, Shit, this is terrible. <sighs> okay. I was thinking about, like, is this possible? Um... I mean, I guess I don't, well, whatever, I have to. Uh, I think it's the deep one bowl here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt me when it engages me and it's easy to evade. True. I think the deep one bowl finally shows up after all <laughs> that. <laughs> uh. Here, we just shuffle that small encounter yeah. deck. Uh, when that engages me, I have to choose and discard a card from my hand. It will be one of these cryptic writings. And my turn. Okay. I think I stay where I am this turn now, so that both the enemies come up there. But you also have that enemy on you. Yep. 
<laughs> that seems like a reason to move out. But if I move out, this hunts onto me and defeats me. Oh, you can't survive? I can't take another horror because, well, if I clear my dreams of really, yeah, I can. Hmm. Oh, do you? Okay, know? yeah, so I draw the card. I was thinking about Amanda, but I have to draw the card. Yeah, just, that perception is not what I need here. This research librarian is the only card that gives me a choice. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. I mean,. I think what I have to do here is pass all my actions. And then let the deep bull hit me. It doesn't defeat me. And then next turn evade and move out after these have hunted up here. Ooh. Do you see another line? I mean, successfully evade? I, yeah, how can I get punished for trying? Should I just try? If your location is flooded, take a damage. Well, that, if I fail and take a damage, then this would kill me. And if you control a key, take a horror, that would defeat me. I don't think that trying random tests is the way to go here. Uh, but no, if you, if you try it plus... So if you commit a card in you Grizzly Tunnel, you'll be plus two. I don't know. That seems okay. But if I draw these of those tokens, those just happen. They're not if I fail. Um, Either one, basically. Well, the damage only defeats me if I also fail, because then the deep one bull will not be evaded. The horror does just defeat me outright. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, so I think I saved the research librarian, which is my only agility, and I put, like, cryptic writings under Amanda again, and I pass her actions. I'm pretty sure that's the correct play. <laughs> Yeah. So the deep one bull attacks me in the enemy step, giving me six points of damage out of seven. And then I upkeep. Oh, and these guys both move here? Yeah, they both hunt up to the north. Okay, doom number two. Encounter card is a lurking deep one, uh, which damages me, that defeats me. Oh. Uh, wow. Well, we're Steven, off. hard, it turns out. <laughs> slightly hard. We're doing well for a while. We actually, we did get all the flashbacks. Right? Yeah, so I don't know what happens here when we are all defeated. Uh, I'm going to go to resolutions, select resolution, no resolution. I was defeated. Wow, I take a physical trauma. You took, what kind of trauma did you take? Just put in uh, that. Was in that. Physical as well. Okay. Uh, do you want to do the reading instead of Ian since it's late? Sure. <laughs> All right. No resolution was reached. Uh, you sputter and cough up an entire lungful of dirty water and sand. Cold, dark water, dark sea water laps at your skin as you spit the last of the bitter salt back into the rolling tide. A pair of warm hands shoves you onto your back and pulls you into a sitting position. Thank goodness you're alive. Someone says. Even through the strained voice, you can hear a rhythmic Indian accent and the unwavering confidence of a trained professional. As your eyes adjust, they take in a sky of dark crimson, the full moon hanging just below the blackened sun. We have no time to spare. Come. Come on. Get up. You wipe stinging, stinging <laughs> salt water from your eyes. Ian wouldn't admit that. <laughs> your strength is returning slowly. Your savior is a woman with long, raven black hair. Her tattooed trench coat has been be has seen better days, and bruises splash across her dirt-covered skin. You seem confused. Why are you glaring? At me? Why are you looking at me like that? The stranger asks. We earn experience equal to victory X, but we don't spend it, and we proceed to interlude one. Okay, uh, victory X is just the two locations we cleared both. Where did, where was I defeated? Not at one. Oh, it was at one of them. What? Why did you die there? Because of treachery, or because of the lurking deep one I drew there killed me. Oh my god, what a jerk. Yeah. I'm not happy about it either. So we got one victory from locations. <sighs> Alright. Okay. And then the interlude. You have no idea who this woman is or how she knows you. Yet she seems comfortable, comfortable and familiar with you. 
You strain with your memory, trying to think of how you might have met, but it's no use. You're certain she is a complete stranger. You've woken up in a cold, wet prison with no memories. You aren't feeling very sociable. Your fear and distrust must show because the woman backs off and narrows her eyes. What is it? What's wrong? You respond by asking the woman if you know her. You truly don't remember? Well, that's going to complicate things. <laughs> what do you recall? Do you remember anything? You recall to the woman the flashes of recollection you experienced earlier. Check memories. I recovered. So we did all of them, right? Yep. So if meeting with Thomas Dawson, you put two and two together and ask, ask if the woman is Miss Harper. Ah, so you do remember me. She asks with a playful smirk, but you shake your head in response and explain that you only remember being hired by a man named Thomas Dawson to find her. But that was, oh, you have forgotten a lot, haven't you? <laughs> Speaking of Dawson, where is he? Did you see him down there? Your thoughts turn to the twisted, mangled face that triggered your flashback. Agent Harper's expression turns dour as she watches your eyes. I swear, I see. I wish he hadn't come to this forsaken town. These brutes are going to pay for this. You ask who she thinks is responsible for Dawson's death, and she raises her eyebrows in response. Right, you don't remember. As far as I know, the last time anybody saw either of you was just before you visited the esoteric air order of the gun. Draw your own conclusions. Uh, we would get an additional experience. Um, nice. If a battle with a horrifying devil is listed under memories, <laughs> uh, you tell Agent Harper about your battle with some kind of aquatic creature. Devil Reef, she says, shuddering. Whatever is going on in this town, Devil Reef is at the heart of it. Let's hope we don't have to head back that way anytime soon, and let's hope that thing stays dead. Uh, we get an additional experience. If we decide to stick together. So you and Dawson were looking for me together then. Interesting. She considers this for a moment. I guess even the extraordinary Captain Dawson can be rattled from time to time. It is sometimes gratifying to know he cared so much about finding me. Still, her gaze wanders towards the horizon. All right, Dawson. I'll make sure you didn't die in vain. I'll burn this whole town to the ground if you have to. Uh, that's one more experience. That's three mm -hmm. additional experience so far. And then if an encounter with a secret cult is listed... Uh, you describe your memory from inside some kind of cult headquarters. Sounds like that may have taken place inside the Esoteric Order of the Gun, building on the north side of town. The organization is vile. I just know it. I have no evidence to bring back, though, and it sounds like you've forgotten everything you've learned. She curses under her breath, and that's one more experience. So if we get all four flashbacks, we get four more experience. So five total. Uh... When and if the campaign ever lets us spend it, because it's going to tell us to not spend it yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> where, where do you stand on... Do you think... Um, so the pattern after the first two scenarios is that you don't spend it because the next scenario, it goes backwards in time, and I think it's a nod to the idea that you didn't have that experience back in time. But... In the deluxe box, it's broken. You spend it before you go back in time. Do you think that's an error? That... That's been my take. I think it's I, like I think it's a typo, like the equivalent of a typo, <laughs> that you spend that you. It tells you not to spend that experience, and then you turn the page and it tells you to spend it. <laughs> yeah. I actually think that that was an error that may be errated, or maybe people will start to just play according to what the intent is if, like, Maxine ever comes out and says that's the intent. I feel like there was one later scenario also where you... Unless, so I haven't finished the campaign, I haven't played the eighth scenario, but other than this moment, it's consistently always don't spend it, play the scenario that takes place in the uh, past, then spend it. And yeah, yeah. the idea, I guess, is that, well, you didn't have that experience then, so you don't spend it. Even though because it goes back and forth, it doesn't... You, still develop yeah. in a way that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but I think the idea is that it makes a nod towards what well, you didn't really have that experience in the past. Uh, but in this case, the text telling you to spend it happens before the scene in the past. Yeah. It's weird. I think some it's... error happened here. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the design of this campaign. <laughs> and I haven't figured out whether I want to like play as if it play in the way I think it was intended. I kind of half expect the next FAQ to address it.
It's tough, because, right. like, you kind of do want... Like, you don't want to play too many scenarios with, like, low XP. Right. Um, yeah. But I, I understand what the story lies. Why you would have less. I mean, I'm fine with we, we, with spending it before the next time we play, just because that's currently how it's written. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do think it's likely not the original <laughs> intent. <laughs> oh. Oh, Drew Infinite Jester, if uh, I can see that as we've been reading that text, people have been filtering out, which is fine. It's the middle of the night. Uh, Drew says that, that he's been playing the same pairing. Oh, nice. <laughs> Calvin and Amanda, Dream Team. Nice. Um, cool. Well, you want to play another? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is 1.15 in the morning. Uh, I think we'll call that a night. But that was fun. Um... We always tended in the past to like play some of whatever campaign we had going and stream after we did a card review, but with less packs coming out, we might have to go out of our way to play some more. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll talk. Um, if you're, uh, I think I'll, I think I'll put this recording on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, the place we watched this live and the chat we were interacting with was at Twitch.tv/OptimalPlay. Uh, follow us there and join us next time. You'll get notifications when we go live. Uh, we don't, unfortunately, commit to any schedule, but yeah, um, cool. That was fun. Thanks, Steven. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do better next time. <laughs> we did pretty well, other than the whole dying thing. Yeah, which other than trauma, it didn't seem to have any repercussion. And you cost us a victory point. Oh, by dropping my clues there. That's true. Yeah, there was that. And I dropped a lot of clues there. I dropped... Nine clues <laughs> at that location. <laughs> yeah, I mean, part of the reason I was in favor of playing on hard was because I played on standard for my blind play, and we just cruised through it. So I am pleased to see that that's already not the case. Although yeah. we we do have a perfect record on the flashbacks and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I mean, overall, yeah. I mean, I mean, Calvin doesn't care about the trauma from the first scenario. In fact, no. only one trauma from the first scenario is kind of low. So I don't love the trauma. Um. I will eventually probably play Witten Green to help find my Grimoires once they're upgraded, and then she has more Soak. Mm -hmm. But I'm not spending my first XP on at Witten Green, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to have her yet. Yeah, the the, the physical trauma on me is going to hurt a little bit. But All right, we're going to call it a stream there. Thank you for watching, folks, and uh, we'll see you soon. Good night.